silence. Dear friends, welcome to America House. My name is Tatiana Strelchenko. I'm the director here, and it's my pleasure to welcome you all. I'm wishing you a very productive and effective day today. I know you are nervous and excited, so hopefully this excitement will, will turn into something really uh, successful. So good luck to all of you. It's our pleasure to host this competition for the second day and for the third year, and we're thanking our very, very thankful to our partners, Diamond Challenge. So if you have time after the competition, please join our events, come to our makerspace. You can uh, prototype your uh, ideas here. You can make them happen and realize them at America House. We have English language events. We have wonderful makerspace. So I'll, I'll be, me and all our team will be happy to, to have you here after that. So good luck and thank you so much. Thank you, Tatiana. So, I guess I'm even more nervous than you are, guys. <laughs> anyway, so, hello, everyone. I'm happy to welcome all of you here at the America House premises. My name is Natalia Shkurka, and I'm the project manager at the Institute of Civic Education and Public Programs. And on behalf of Charity Fund ISEP, I'm happy to welcome all of you here. And I want to say you good luck for this day. Let's just welcome each other. Uh, today is the very exciting day for all of you, for all of us. Uh, as, uh, <laughs> sorry. as we are going to finally find out who are the winners of our national stage of Diamond Challenge 2020 within Business Innovation Track. Diamond Challenge is a unique program created spe specifically for teenagers of, uh, 18, uh, of 14 and 18 years old. And um, our goal here is maybe not to create like 20 startups in a year, but just to make you try uh, yourself in a new, uh, new role, to discover something new for yourself and maybe like to, uh, to get this passion for business, for entrepreneurship, and maybe like in a couple of years when you are going to create your own companies, uh, you will remember this uh, amazing experience and amazing Diamond Challenge opportunity that you had before. So uh, we started this program in Ukraine four years ago uh, when we signed Memorandum of, un of Understanding with the University of Delaware. And we are happy uh, really for their, for their support and they are, we are happy for uh, their decision uh, to choose our organization as the partnering one in Ukraine. And uh, this year, uh, Ukraine is on the second place um, in regards with uh, quantity of registrations of students uh, among 26 partnering countries. And we are very happy that Ukraine is showing like, such great interest in participation of this program. Um, so, yeah, let's applaud to this. <laughs> uh, we wouldn't be able to engage so many young and talented students without our key partners. Uh, first of all, big thanks to, goes to, to the University of Delaware for creating this program uh, and providing opportunities for teenagers to learn about entrepreneurship like throughout the world. Uh, we are very grateful to our partners at the minist uh, Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sport. Without their support, we would not be able to, to spread the information about uh, Diamond Challenge in every educational establishment in Ukraine, in every youth center, and among other uh, NGOs who work with youth. So let's applaud to them. I would like also say big thanks to our partner uh, U.S. Peace Corps in uh, in Ukraine. Uh, thanks to this um, uh, to this uh, fruitful cooperation that we are having for three years, uh, we are able to engage so many uh, qualified uh, American volunteers to to be uh, your advisors, pushers, uh, live judges, online judges. Unfortunately, they are not here today, but let's applaud to them as well. And of course, big thanks to the America House and especially uh, Tatiana, Sasha, who is uh, uh, going to be like our technical manager today and make sure that every, every equipment works here well. So let's go. 
Uh, as I said before, today is an important day for all of, all of you and your advisors. You will uh, show finally the results of your hard work like among um, throughout like six months or, or even more on your, uh, on your concepts. Uh, you really did a great job because you went through this long journey. Uh, you watched educative videos, you were uh, thinking about your concepts, I hope, every day. You were trying to make them better. Um, like after, after getting the online, uh, online feedback that you got from uh, online judges. And here you are, 10 best teams of um, business innovation track. And I hope that the winner will be the best one. Uh, who will show really high results uh, in the Diamond Challenge uh, in the Worldwide Finals. Uh, the team who is going to, to the US um, in April will have a chance to compete for a for relatively big, a bigger prize than we have today. Uh, the main prize for the Diamond Challenge uh, final uh, stage is uh, <coughs> this year it's $13,000. So there is something that you should really try hard to get. So I hope that we will select uh, today the best ones and they will show really like a great uh, successful concept and we will finally get the, this financial award. Because uh, we are doing this for four years and unfortunately Ukraine uh, was not among like worldwide leaders, unfortunately. But Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, um, as we are going to decide who is the best one, we invited uh, a very professional and uh, successful and qualified women. Uh, today we have like so many women in our jury. Uh, and let me introduce you um, these people who are going really to decide uh, who is the winner? So, um, uh, we have today with us Deputy Chief of Party of uh, USAID Competitive Economy Program, Olesa Zaluska. Uh, CEO at Radar Tech, Maria Romanova. Uh, head of Partnership at Sector X Acceleration Hub. Um, founder and CEO at Business Teaching Center, Yulia Gerasimenko. And we were supposed to have the fifth judge today, who, who was supposed to be a man among beautiful ladies. But unfortunately, uh, he called me and said that uh, he, he got sick. Uh, we were supposed to have Alexander Tsipko, head of European Union Initiative Mayors for Economic Growth, but he's not with us, but let's uh, wish him like uh, best of luck with fighting his uh, illness. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your support, for your dedication, for your valuable time. We understand that you have so many things to do, but uh, I hope that you, you won't regret spending time with us and our amazing students today. So let's get, let's get back to our final pitch event. And uh, first of all, I would like to, uh, to invite uh, one representative of each team uh, to decide the order of your pitches. Or maybe someone wants to be the first? You want to be the first? Yeah. Okay, let's be. Greder going to be the first. But uh, anyway, others, please come here and pick your number. You take the number and then you may take your seats and then um, I will ask. Please take a seat. And if you have one, you should give it to me. So we have Greder who is, who is going to be the first one. Take, take your seats, please. Take your seats. 
equal. So we have true slab. True slab. Yeah, we just take. No. Tell me your number. Six? Six? Great. Trip helper. We have aerial surveillance complex. Three. Personal assistant. Handy coping so. Natis. Cyber school. Drug number nine. Nine. Educational courses. Great. So uh, before we start. Uh, with pitching, yeah. I'd like to invite to the stage um, uh, our special guest today, um, Sergei, please. Uh, Sergei took part in the Diamond Challenge two years uh, in a row, last year, uh, the year before, and uh, he did not win, but I mean, he, he will tell you about his experience and what Diamond Challenge gave to him and how his uh, life was changed after that. And maybe like we will provide some hints or tips before pitching for our team. Всім привіт. Насамперед хочу сказати, що буду розмовляти українською, тому що я знаю, як це ви зараз переживаєте, як ви всі на нервах, як ви хвилюєтесь і у вас всередині все бурлить, тому що просто ви заспокоїлися, хоча б 10 хвилин відпочили. Все. Мене звати Сергій. Я двічі брав участь в Diamond Challenge у 2018-2019 році. Минулого року ми посіли друге місце в Social Innovation Track, у 2018 ми були в Business Innovation Track. Також зараз я працюю в Diamond Challenge в студентській раді учнів, тобто це учасники попередніх років, які створюють Diamond. Особисто я в комітеті саміту, тобто Одна команда, яка полетить в Америку, вона буде на саміті, брати участь в цьому саміті, який організовували ми, студенти з усього світу, діти старших класів, і також я на Геп'юрі, тому що пройшов аплікаційний процес, і ви також можете взяти участь і бути наступного року частиною студентської ради. Якщо хтось захоче більше дізнатися про це, то підходьте до мене під час брейків, я дам відповіді на будь-які запитання. Насамперед, я хочу вас всіх привітати з тим, що ви вже фіналісти, адже саме цим ви довели одну просту річ, що неважливо, звідки ви, неважливо, який у вас регіон народження, скільки вам років, тобто ви довели саме оцю просту річ, що навіть 14, 15, 16, 17 років можна зробити круту бізнес-концепцію, можна зробити крутий піч-дек, запічити так, що будуть у захваті всі інвестори. Я хочу насамперед привітати вас з цим, що ви в топ-10 фіналістів, українських команд Business Innovation. Зможете собі поаплодувати. Це дійсно круто бачити дуже багато дітей, які дуже приймаються проблемами, які хочуть вирішити, хочуть вирішити проблеми для своїх потенційних клієнтів. Хочу розповісти трохи про свою участь в Diamond Challenge. У 2018 році ми були в Business Innovation Track. Ми тоді не посіли призового місця, але тоді я дізнався дуже багато. Я тоді отримав величезний досвід, величезний багаж знань. У нас були підготовчі курси, ми багато дізнавалися, як правильно пітчити, як правильно писати бізнес-концепцію, як правильно оформлювати пітчдек. І саме цей старт я отримав під час Diamond Challenge у 2018 році. Ми... По суті, це були перші знання, які ми отримали, і вони були досить високого рівня, тому нам не треба було шукати на інших сайтах і дивитися, порівнювати, де інформація дійсно поглиблена і можна їй довіряти. Ми отримали дійсно інформацію високого рівня від найкращих менторів, найкращих представників різних сфер бізнесу в Україні. І це було дуже круто, і саме після цього ми вирішили, що ми хочемо продовжувати роботу в бізнесі і хочемо розвивати свій бізнес надалі. У 2019 році я також взяв участь в Diamond Challenge, ми тоді не перемогли, ми посіли друге місце, але все ж таки це був ще один досвід, я хочу сказати, що досвіду не буває багато, його завжди можна отримати більше, адже досвід це те, це по суті поштовх, який допоможе вам у майбутньому, який допоможе вам розвиватися і розвивати свій бізнес. Що дав мені цей конкурс? Насамперед, це перші знання у бізнесі, як я вже казав, про те, що саме ці важливі багажі, які допоміг мені розвивати далі бізнес, розвивати свою концепцію, допоміг мені, тому що без вагомих знань, без цього фундаменту, ви не зможете правильно керувати бізнесом і правильно керувати своєю концепцією. Контакти. 
Будь-якою складовою стартапу, найвагомішою складовою стартапу є контакти, адже будь-яка людина вам може бути, допомогти може вам, і це дуже круто, коли ви отримуєте контакти людей, які вам подальшому допоможуть, або скажуть людей, які можуть вам допомогти. Тому цей конкурс дав мені велику кількість контактів, які потім я використав. Звісно, це мотивація, адже після цього конкурсу я зрозумів, що я хочу займатися саме бізнесом. І саме ця сфера дійсно цікава мені, і я продовжую цим займатися, і я дуже вдячний цьому конкурсу за те, що я дійсно зрозумів, чим я хочу займатися в своєму житті, і чим я хочу пов'язати своє майбутнє. Тож, декілька порад щодо сьогоднішнього дня і щодо сьогоднішнього заходу. Насамперед, не хвилюйтесь. Ви всі вже переможці, і ви вже всі потрапили до топ-10. Це нереально круто. Особисто я був е, учасником судею онлайн-оцінювання. Я не оцінював українські концепції, я оцінював зарубіжні концепції. І мені було дуже приємно помітити високу якість українських концепцій. Ми були, я особисто був вражений за те, що діти з такими ідеями, з такими концепціями, вони дійсно готувалися не один день, не один тиждень, щоб показати високий результат, Високу якість своєї концепції. Мені дійсно було приємно бачити, що такі діти є в Україні, і вони зараз присутні в цьому залі. Далі. Насамперед хочу сказати, що впевненість – це ваш ключ до того, щоб ви переконали суддів, що саме ваша команда має перемогти. Адже впевненість – це, по суті, такий механізм, який показує, що от ми найкращі, ми, були, ми є кращими за попередніх учасників, ми є кращими за майбутніх учасників. Тому показуйте свій пешен про ваш проект, показуйте, наскільки ви його любите, наскільки ви дійсно впевнені, що саме ваша ідея може перемогти і що ваша ідея зможе жити в майбутньому. Критика. Дуже важливо правильно сприймати критику, адже критика – це такий, процес, коли ви можете зрозуміти те, що абсолютно не бачили під час підготовки над своєю концепцією. Тобто, дійсно, подивитися з іншого ракурсу на свою концепцію, зрозуміти, що вам треба дороблювати в майбутньому. І насамперед, не забувайте, у вас є перерви, у вас є можливість спілкуватися з іншими учасниками, не забувайте про це, адже ви можете стати друзями, можете стати партнерами по проектах, і це дійсно, дійсно дуже круто і важливо. А зараз друга частина, я хочу розповісти про те, що буде завтра, коли вже конкурс закінчиться, і що вам потрібно робити, коли ви зрозумієте, що або хтось переміг, або хтось не переміг, але все ж таки майбутнє може бути, якщо ви хочете займатися своїм проєктом. Насамперед, команда. Це абсолютно нормально, якщо завтра те, хто з вашої команди зрозуміє, що бізнес – це не його або не її складова частина життя. Адже все ж таки цей конкурс дає перші кроки в бізнесі, і вам варто розуміти, що Якщо людина розуміє, що ну, я не хочу займатися бізнесом, я хочу займатися іншим, не тримайте його або її, ви все одно не зможете так тримати свою частину команди. Тому знайдіть інших членів команди, зробіть так, щоб вони також були зацікавлені в ідеї, як і ви, і розвивайте вже разом з новою командою. Ментор. Я знаю, що ви всі прийшли зі своїми менторами, я впевнений, що вони дуже круті люди у своїх сферах, діяльності. І насамперед, запитайте знову ментора, чи він хоче або вона продовжувати працювати саме з вами. Адже це вимагає величезного комітменту і величезного, величезної віддачі. Адже, по суті, перші роки, перший, перший час існування стартапу, ви працюєте лише на ідеї і на своїй мотивації. Ви не отримуєте якісь певні кошти. Можливо, це, якщо отримаєте інвестиції, це буде дуже круто. Але все ж таки все йде на ідеї і все йде на мотивації. Запитайте ментора, чи він хоче працювати вдалі з вами. Якщо ні, запитайте інших людей. Є дуже багато крутих професіоналів, які зацікавлені в розвитку українських стартапів. Час. Я знаю, що більшість із вас зараз навчається в школі, тому дуже важливо знайти цей час, над яким ви будете працювати над своїм стартапом, над своїм проєктом. Тому, будь ласка, не забувайте про те, що чим більше ви вкладаєте часу у свій проєкт, тим, тим швидше він е, стане на маркет і він буде працювати в Україні. Знайдіть можливість. Насамперед, величезна помилка будь-якого підлітка – це розуміти про те, що дуже мало можливостей для розвитку. Окрім Diamond Challenge, Таймон Челлендж – це дуже потужний майданчик, він один з найкращих в Україні. Але це не значить, що якщо у вас не вийшло сьогодні, у вас не вийде ніколи. Є дуже багато можливостей поза Таймон Челлендж, і ви зможете їх використати в майбутньому. Насамперед, ось цей QR-код, він е, описує, я зібрав декілька е, можливостей, декілька програм, акселераторів. Ви можете зісканувати цей QR-код і знайти ці програми, вони всі доступні для дітей до 18 років. Ви можете скористатися і в майбутньому стати учасниками акселераторів, програм від крутих професіоналів.
І хочу ще дещо сказати. Розвивайте. Не забувайте про те, що ваш стартап – це, по суті, як маленька дитина, яку треба вести в доросле життя. Її треба розвивати, їй треба допомагати встати на ноги, встати на ринок, знайти своїх потенційних користувачів. Тому розвивайте кожного дня, кожну секунду, коли ви думаєте про свій стартап, думайте, як ви можете розвинути його надалі. Ваш важливий день вже сьогодні. Тому моя остання порада, яку я хочу вам сказати, просто викладіться на максимум. Покажіть, що ви підготували протягом цих, років, цих, цих місяців підготовки. Можливо, хтось працює над стартапом вже рік-два. Тому покажіть, будь ласка, те, що ви вже зробили. І це буде найкращим вашим результатом. Це мої контакти. Якщо хтось хоче запитати або хтось хоче в подальшому координуватися зі мною, я також буду доступний під час брейків. Підходьте, запитуйте запитання. І я хочу передати слово Наталії. Thank you, Sergei, for sharing with us your story. So, um, so now this is the time. Uh, but before we start, uh, let's talk about uh, the rules. Uh, your pitches are strictly limited to five minutes. Uh, you will see the timer over there. And uh, even if you did not have enough of time to, uh, to finish your pitch, this means that you, you cannot continue. Okay, after, the f after five minutes, like, uh, your chance is over, unfortunately. Uh, you are free to use your creativity, uh, imagination, whatever works best for you. Uh, but everything should be only in English. At first, we will have five minutes for your, five minutes for your pitch, and then five minutes for Q and A ses session uh, from the judges. Uh, judges will uh, will ask you questions in English as well, and you you must answer answer them in English too. Uh, after uh, after the five uh, first pitches, we're gonna have a small uh, short uh, short coffee break, and we can we will come back to other five uh, pitches. Uh, after every pitch, uh, every judge has the evaluation form uh, with the criteria that was uh, sent to you before to, uh, for you to review. Uh, the maximum uh, amount of points that you can get is uh, 50 points, 10, uh, 10 out of which is, uh, is given for your creativity, uh, for your skills of uh, pitching. So uh, try not to use papers, as I said before. Try just to tell your story, okay? So after the end of 10 pitches, uh, we will uh, ask our judges to leave the room uh, and we will calculate the points that they, they, that they gave you. And we will finally find out who is our winner. The winner will be the one, unfortunately. Um, the, winner, the winning team will get the financial award and the chance to move further to the Diamond Challenge uh, 2020 in the USA. So, first team, Greder. Is it, is it Greder or Greder? It's Grader. Grader. Yeah. Okay. So. Please check the equipment. Mm -hmm. One, two. And the clicker. So look, in five seconds when you're ready, you may start. Okay, thank you. Hello, my name is Andrew and I'm the CEO at Grado. And if you're a parent, in a Ukrainian public school, you have only two ways to find out which grades your child gets. Those are phone calls and in-person visits. And you might say, wait, there are diaries, there is some like paper system, doesn't it? Like, it should work, right? Wrong. So I've brought today some systems with me to show you. And the first system and most common one is paper diary. Uh, but if you open it and if you take a look here, you'll notice that there are no grades in here. In most schools, teachers don't put grades in diaries. And I started asking myself, like, how? How can it work? And I began exploring this question. And I found out a paper journal from my school, which had like all the grades across all the subjects, and you can open it if you'd like to. 
but it has recently become illegal to access for parents and students. Can you imagine that because of new privacy laws? And so I, I kept exploring and I you know, continued searching for, for solutions. And I found a monthly report. And I thought, hey, that, that's nice. But it turned out that if parents get reports once a month, they have no time to react. They have absolutely no time to react. It's useless to know that your child got a two in geography one month ago. And uh, I thought, hey, is it is a problem just in my school or like in Ukraine? And I conducted a survey across like almost every region in Ukraine. And I found out that, yeah, yeah, it's a problem in all of Ukraine. And I, and I said, okay, what can I do? And I've come up with a solution. So how does it work? Parents and students get weekly reports in Viber or other messengers. They don't have to conduct phone calls or conduct in-person visits. Then parents get instant bad grade reports. If your child gets a bad grade, you get a report instantly so that you can react. And lastly, uh, academic advisors will be uh, able to use our custom extremely fast, 100 times faster than the, than the previous system, and thus it's ensured that they will actually do their job. How does it work? So first of all, academic advisors use our uh, scanner app, which is based on artificial intelligence, and they just take a photo of the journal, and then uh, we tr like process this and send individualized reports via chatbots to parents and students. Lastly, a website is always available to access. So obviously, Gradar is much superior to the existing system, uh, which is obsolete and paper-based, but it isn't the only solution. There are also messenger chats created by parents, but it's not perfect because it is uh, still based on the paper-based system. And the best solution currently on the market are electronic diaries. And we've listed out the ones that we research here. This was the most popular ones. And they all have one big problem. They can be implemented in rural and poor schools. Because they require Wi-Fi, they require computers, on, like there are other schools that don't have it. Our system, the only thing we require from academic advisors are mobile phones with a camera and access to cellular network. This means that we can be implemented in any school in Ukraine. So our revenue model. So we plan to use a freemium model and we expect 5% of our users to come from premium and 95% of our users to come from ads. And we've calculated that over their lifetime, a user will bring, bring in about $6. Here is how we plan to reach our customers. And we expect uh, most of our customers to come from direct sales, so going to school, speaking with administration, establishing our system in the school. We also expect partnerships with local governments and the Ministry of Education of Ukraine, and also organic users. We expect our customer acquisition cost to be at about 35 cents. Now, if you divide our lifetime value over customer acquisition cost, you get 17. What does it mean? It means that if you invest $1 into customer acquisition of Grutter, you will get $17 after three years. Here's our market. First, we plan to start in Kiev and Kiev region, then expand into Ukraine, and in countries that we research that don't have, uh, that have an obsolete paper-based system, and then uh, we might reach the world. Here's our roadmap. We will start the participation in an accelerator, which will later uh, grant us an opportunity to negotiate a partnership with the Ministry of Education. Uh, we've created an MVP of a chatbot and a website, and we've booked uh, two schools where we will launch next week. We've already talked about this with them in Solomonsky district of Kiev and in Peryaslav, a Kiev oblast, and we plan to reach 40 schools by 2021. Here's our team. Uh, we have uh, qualified professionals in product development and business, and um, here's our budget. And, uh, Here's the budget we need, the budget we have. So we've already secured about $50,000 because our, our product development team and our sales team is willing to work as volunteers for the first 12 months so we can do it on our own. And the only money we need is about $6,000 for legal costs, taxes, and marketing. Now, he who opens the door to school closes the door to prison. That's a quote by Victor Hugo. And now education is very important to the success of Ukraine and the world as a whole. And let's not, not let and efficiencies in this system ruin that success. Join our mailing list and let's change it together. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was very brave of you to be the first one. Good luck. Dear judges, now your questions. Let me start. Okay. Who, pay, who paid for website and all the other preparatory work? Uh, so, uh, as I've said, we have a team of qualified professionals. Uh, we have two website developers, and they're working for free right now for us because they're part of our team and they're working as volunteers. And we've already created a website, we've already created a chatbot, and we've, we've created a website platform that we've talked about. So it's all covered. So th this cost would have had to be paid if we started without our team, but thanks to our team and uh, because we've uh, 
talked with those people and convinced them to work with us, we don't have to pay those money. So the $50,000 that I mentioned are already secured and don't need to be paid. Thank you. Uh, hi. It was a great presentation. I really Thank enjoyed it. Thanks. Thank you. Um, did you have a chance to analyze um, some kind of the similar apps in uh, other countries like Sweden, for instance? Or? Yes, sure, sure. Uh, so we've conducted, uh, I've personally conducted interviews with people uh, across almost every country in Europe, in the United States, and also in Asia. And we've uh, talked about uh, the way those apps are used. And they're uh, similar in almost every country. And that in a way that you have like a computer where teachers put in grades after every lesson and you need Wi-Fi, as I said, and it all kind of like fluctuates the, the whole, like the way it works exactly, but they all have the same system in every country. And yes, we've analyzed, I'm not sure that we've analyzed the system in Sweden, but we've analyzed systems in like Germany, Switzerland, and across all of Europe almost. And as I've said, the problem, the key problem with the system is that those more developed countries have an opportunity to like, go buy Wi-Fi in a school and buy computers in a school, and it's all good, good and all. But in Ukraine, if you visit a rural school, let's say in Chernihiv Oblast, they have no Wi-Fi. They have no computers, like, more, like a lot of schools. And you cannot implement those modern electronic journals. You just can't. You can't. And thus, uh, we've decided to create a system that does not require that, that can be only used with a mobile phone, camera, and a cellular network. Hi. Hi. Nice presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much. But I didn't make it the second slide. I didn't see the figures. It was very interesting, by the way. I think it's important. The survey was great, but you didn't show us the figures. Yes. But anyways, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the question is, um, like, it's great that you do already a lot of stuff. Yes. But on the other hand, um, it's you said that parents will need cameras, yeah? Uh, telephones with cameras. No, no. But not all parents have no, telephones no, not, with cameras. Not parents, not parents. So Teachers, schools, academic, where? Academic advisors. So in schools, okay. there are academic advisor, which is assigned to every class. So not a teacher, academic advisor, which oversees the class. Should and it be a person? Uh, yeah, it's, it's a person. They already have those in schools. Okay. It's like those, those people okay, already and you Okay, and you want, like, um, not make them but suggest them to work with this application yeah um and you are having a meeting how legal it is yeah so yeah? so i mean the ministry of education all these issues with education in general it's very governmental part and then you are with your business idea so how are you going to negotiate all of this stuff yeah yeah that's true um this uh, particular industry has a lot of uh, legal uh, kind of, I would say, regulations. Yeah. But so far, uh, we've talked with those two schools that we've partnered with, with the school in the Slovensky district and the school in Pryaslyv, and uh, they passionately agree to, to work with our system. They, they said, yeah, go ahead, test it, test it. You can launch and you can test it. And there was like no problem with implementing the system in, in classrooms. And that's exactly how electronic journals work. Uh, they come to like private school. They have like all the computers and all the Wi-Fi, and they like and they say, "Hey, let's let let's test it, let's launch it," or even to reach public schools, and they just do it. They they don't ask for permission. They can just test it. Okay. Yeah. Very interesting because they don't have to ask for the permission. I I think as soon as you are getting bigger and more and more schools learn about you. The government will learn about you. Yeah, so be careful yeah, yeah. with all yeah. legal stuff because you have already started doing the things and yeah. it's good. Yeah, that's for sure. The, the permission should be asked at some level, but it's not that difficult to get one. And as I've said, we have started at uh, Tel Aviv Kiev Smart City Accelerator. That was the beginning. And it has very close ties to the Ministry of Education. And we've uh, been accepted to the accelerator and uh, they've agreed to help us negotiate a partnership with the Ministry of Education in summer of 2019. So there should be no problem with that. Yeah, thank you. Good luck. You remember that I asked you the same question actually <laughs> when we were speaking. Okay, okay the last one. Hi. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Um, it's good presentation. Thank you. I see you love your product and you believe it's a um, need. 
Uh, but I have uh, one question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe it's an uh, easy question. Uh, did you do research how many parents and schools will use this application? Yes, sure. So uh, this system is not only for parents, but also for students. And in our market figure, we did our calculations. So um, from our interview, we got that about 60% of parents are actively dissatisfied with the grade reporting system that, we, that exactly we are solving. And uh, if you count uh, the amount of uh, students in Kiev and assume that there is like one parent for every student, you get a number of uh, approximately about uh, 6 million users. And if you multiply it by uh, our lifetime value across one year, that's about $2 per one year, uh, you get a figure of about $12 million. So even in Kiev, uh, uh, the, like the total available market only in Kiev, not in the world, not in Ukraine, not in Europe, is about $12 million. And we estimate that it's a very sufficient number for us to operate. And judging from our interviews, it's a very serious problem since about 60% of parents are really satisfied with this. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your questions. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I would like to mention one more thing actually about which I for forgot when I was talking about the rules. Uh, there is one very strict rule. Um, pitching is solely for students. If any of your advisors, guests, uh, I don't know, uh, parents, uh, friends would like to interrupt in the process, uh, the whole team will be disqualified, okay? So let's just respect this one. Um, and while our judges are filling in the forms, uh, I'd like to invite uh, the team with the concept educational courses to check the equipment. Check the clicker. One, two. The clicker. Okay. Yes, it works. Just a moment. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Unfortunately, we cannot put on some music because then the live streaming is not going to work. Live streaming moments, Josh. We may start, right? Educational courses. Yeah. And in five seconds, you may start. Sasha? Yeah. OK, good afternoon. Our names are Helen, Nasty, and Roma. We're participating in the challenge to present our idea and business named Educational Courses, which insists uh, seven paid programs. Using our courses, uh, everyone will have the ability how to learn um, how to, le to learn how to profit from their hobbies. First, I want to emphasize that our project not only about profit, but also focus on social impact. As far as seen, uh, these hobbies um, make some, uh, makes it strengthen uh, to the individual and their communities. Uh, through our courses, we will solve several problems of our uh, target audience. And first of all, we will provide the place for the business development where beginner entrepreneurs will have an opportunity to work without an employer and uh, earn money from this. Uh, uh, then it will foster the services market and lower the unemployment rates. And the example is that the level of uh, that the numbers of programmers, artists and photographers will all increase. Uh, our target audience uh, is motivated people who uh, has uh, uh, who want uh, realization uh, and uh, they will uh, like uh, in this work creativity and programming. Uh, just imagine you are George who loves doing something and have a certain uh, achievement in this. Uh, but uh, how continue doing this and have a profit of your hobby? And we can suggesting you a free trial lesson. Uh, 
uh, of course, we may uh, we interviewed our uh, target audience and make uh, notice the res uh, results. You can see the statistics on the screen, and uh, we uh, made a feedback promo video, but uh, uh, there was some technical problems. So sorry. <laughs> Uh, our primary competitors are uh, online course sites and also other NGOs that uh, provide trainings. However, we have uh, many advantages and features that make it unique and uh, um, stand above the other um, competitors. Uh, it is uh, can I? Uh, it is the um, that we experience with our target audience. Also, uh, we uh, work with them, uh, in, and we have some facilitator ski, uh, skills. We are lecturers uh, and have uh, some certificates about that. Okay, we will work under the B2C scheme because uh, we sell the product directly to our uh, clients. Uh, the realization of our project uh, have uh, take four steps. Uh, and uh, then we uh, uh, increase amount. Uh, the first contribution of our project uh, will take uh, 137,000 of Karinas, uh, and it will uh, pay off roughly at uh, 12 months. And uh, after 13 months of work, we uh, anticipate net uh, profit. Uh, so. Uh, at first six months, we will have lower spendings because we already have uh, guarantees letters from influential uh, organizations from our city which are ready to help us at first. For example, a school is ready to give us a place um, totally free. Uh, of course, there are some uh, costs uh, we need many money for. For example, we need uh, a big amount of money for the website where our customers will be able to uh, see all the information about us and uh, uh, and uh, our students will have an opportunity to, ho to have their own portfolios. Uh, there are uh, costs like multimedia, office materials, uh, certificates, costs for trainers, electricity and rent that we can't have um, initially. Uh, I want to pay your attention about that uh, the realization of any project uh, involves some risks and uh, we have plan uh, to minimize these risks um, about can I? Uh, it is uh, uh, we have al calculated and accounted about uh, a small number of clients to quit and uh, uh, due to uh, disinterest but uh, we have some plan how to uh, decrease this common problem. Uh, each of us is a certificated uh, lecturer in our respective sphere of interest and uh, uh, and our combination is highly diverse and optimal for our project. Uh, of course, not to mention each of us is highly passionate about sharing our passions and help others to work on their skills. We also developed an art and design course, so uh, feel free and contact us for this information. Thank you. Hi, thanks for the presentation. Um, am I right that you are, that you are offering some kind of courses uh, that help people with hobbies to monetize these hobbies? Sure. Okay, cool. And uh, how do you get, like, who are your trainers in these courses? Uh, our trainers are we self. As we said, here as our artist, our uh, photographer and programmer. Uh, each of us has uh, certain skills in this first. Uh, also, it is lectures about financial um, uh, knowledge. Uh, it is uh, our um, mentors, and also it is uh, the um, maybe uh, our friends, uh, and uh, they are older than us. Uh, it is uh, uh, the teachers in the school uh, then uh, have some. Uh, uh, profit uh, uh, about their hobbies and also uh, uh, they know how to uh, work with the uh, uh, courses, how to learn uh, students and, uh, and other people. Okay, and uh, who are actually your target group, your customers? Uh, our target audience, it is people from um, maybe uh, 15 years old and uh, older uh, because it is uh, uh, it is maybe uh, students it is may uh, 
you or someone else uh, because every one of us have some hobbies, have some interest in uh, other um, in other spheres, uh, but not uh, only in your work. Uh, and it is good to uh, profit uh, from uh, their interest. Mm. So it's great that uh, you have logo, by the way. You've created it. It's, oh, not, it's, it, it it's my work. <laughs> yeah. So, um, OK. Let's imagine you need this money for uh, the website, right? Yeah. The whole like all the pro all the courses will be on this website or where i didn't get no no, no. it's it's will be courses offline but we plan to have uh, also online courses okay so you need the website just for marketing right uh not like for people to know to get uh, to know about you no. yeah but more we as i said there will be a special uh, portfolios of our stud uh, students. Of our participants. It is yeah. uh, said about uh, portfolios of us and also portfolio of our participants after the completion of our courses. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, it will be offline and you will sell it for 500 hymnas. Uh, like start, uh, we just seven started days. about offline courses, but also next we want to work uh, in online sphere. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. Thanks. Uh, thank you. Yeah, it's not a question, it's my advice. Um, you need to have a um, trainer who knows how hobby transfer to money. Yeah, uh, but uh, we also uh, transfer our hobbies in money. Um, now? Yeah, now. Oh. Okay, great. <laughs> um, nice presentation. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, so nervous, so I'm become nervous as well. Uh, online education will be trend, especially taking into account spread of coronavirus. So it's one of the spheres yeah. that will benefit from this from <laughs> adverse <laughs> like crisis. But um, so think about the distribution of online and uh, offline courses in your uh, project. And uh, as far as I understand, like uh, it's more local. Uh, focused product, right? Uh, not only local, uh, but also we want to uh, cooperate with our another uh, towns uh, and uh, maybe another regions. Uh, I have some, we have some uh, friends and some trainers in another towns, in other, about uh, all the Ukraine. And we want to work uh, in the, um, maybe um, the neighborhood cities, the uh, regions, by, by local, I mean uh, Ukraine. In uh, Ukraine, yeah. Okay. Uh, offline courses, it will be only in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thanks. And last 20 seconds for the last question, if you have so. Yep. Okay. What are your hobbies? I'm artist and also I want to uh, start my uh, business in, uh, uh, in the freelance illustration. Uh, other team members? My hobby is playing in the guitar and photography. And uh, that's all. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I'm a programmer, as I said, and uh, I'm now studying in the academy, and um, I also have some freelance. Cool. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Julia, may I ask you to switch off the... The mic, the mic. Thanks. Okay. Uh, let's give a couple of uh, minutes to fill in the forms for our judges. And uh, I would like to invite the aerial surveillance complex to the stage to, to check if everything works correctly. And to get less nervous on the stage. Shall we start? No, wait a second. So, aerial surveillance complex, and in five seconds you may start, Sasha. 
Yes. Okay. Start. Good afternoon, <laughs> judges, guests, and competitors. We want to show you our presentation. Uh, it's for us uh, real interesting uh, teams, uh, Sam, and we also want uh, to give uh, you our idea. So, uh, aerial surveillance complex. Uh, we were worried about a little uh, more uh, serious problem for our lives. Uh, forest fires are this problem. They cause enormous financial and human losses even in the last years uh, in the regions all around the world. Um, so the problem uh, is civilian saf safety. Uh, now it is the deal uh, actually for social media and people themselves. Fire departments uh, usually can't hold uh, with this in big risky regions. Uh, but the, uh, the, this model uh, causes other problems uh, that are uh, really uh, risky for people. Uh, first is lack of information, uh, because uh, people aren't... Uh, um, the information about the fire uh, isn't given uh, to people, and uh, so it causes panic and deadly traffic jams. Uh, in last two years, um, a lot of people in Greece were burned inside their cars trying to escape in one way. So that's a really big problem. So check this out. Uh, it's um, a, uh, a system based uh, on a few components, and uh, one of them is a drone that captures uh, the fire using the thermal camera. It observes the territory, like uh, patrols, um, and uh, there is a model of the solution. It analyzes the data, builds the fire spreading model, informs the firefighting services, um, and uh, the most uh, important informs the people in the zone of risk. Uh, how will that work? Uh, we will use uh, a mobile app uh, so the people can uh, 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 can download it and subscribe and uh, watch the information about uh, the fire and uh, closed roads uh, uh, the, if they are in zone of risk. Uh, the model is uh, built on several factors like uh, wind, terrain, um, temperature of the surrounding. Um, actually, we had uh, a research in this market and uh, there is a lack of competitors. Uh, the one uh, system is made by NASA, and it's, uh, it uses satellites to capture fires, uh, but uh, it doesn't give actual information. Uh, so people know wh where the fire is, but uh, where will it spread, uh, no information is given. And with this system, we reduce response time. Um, our target customers uh, are uh, people in several regions like Greece, Turkey, uh, Cyprus, California, uh, but we wanted to start with Greece. We had actual uh, marketing resort in Greece. We both had an ability to uh, get a thought of uh, people who live there. Um, and uh, the app uh, uh, is going uh, to be uh, not free, about uh, $10 uh, per month is the price of the subscription. But I think that's worth it, because uh, uh, people uh, will need uh, this crucial situation. Uh, this is our costs. Uh, we based our financial plan on it, on them. Um, and our revenue model. Uh, firstly, we'll de develop the parts of drones uh, and uh, other systems. And then we want to implement uh, the system into a few uh, towns uh, in Greece, which, uh, um, which uh, had uh, a lot of uh, these accidents. Uh, but we have a lot of expansion opportunities. Uh, it's borders and natural reserve surveillance. We see the heat of uh, people who interrupt the area. And water surveillance, because uh, a lot of illegal immigrants uh, go into Europe through Greece. 
and uh, that's all. We believe that will help our planet and a lot of countries and continents in all. Thank you. Now questions maybe? The concept is really helpful and nice for like make the world better, yes. But um, I, I thought you would start with uh, in Ukraine actually. Um. Like of course we don't have as uh, many different disasters as in other countries. But the business question is, uh, did you find out how legal it will be in Greece to start? Uh, to, to just fly jo drones? Will it be like, do you know the laws and everything? Yes, uh, yeah. the laws uh, are international for, uh, and they're given by Flight Aviation Administration. Uh, they use uh, their own uh, type of laws uh, okay. internationally. A flight Aviation Administration has um, the international uh, Okay, will you need rights. permission uh, to yes, buy this yeah. permission to... No, no, no. The no. permission is free mm -hmm. uh, because... Uh, and it's uh, really easy to get because the drones uh, don't have pilots and uh, fly automatically. Okay. For so Mar, yes. and, and with this, we also reduce the amount of stuff to minimum. Mm -hmm. First of all, it can help by our police to find some murders, maybe, because from the area we can see more than from, from, from the, the ground. Area. And also we can find if uh, something destruction, not fire, uh, even in city. Uh, like find people uh, who, uh, lost, uh, who have lost uh, in forests or uh, other. Thanks. Uh, it's really a problem, especially in California. Uh, but um, like, let's talk about drones. I have a drone, and uh, the drone is very sensitive to wind. Yes, we know that. Uh, we've done some uh, aerodynamic tests in uh, 3D software. Uh, we have uh, we have developed an actual model of the drone. You've seen it probably. <laughs> Uh, and uh, it uh, is uh, wind resistant uh, up to uh, uh, 25 knots uh, of wind. That's, that's pretty a lot. Okay, that was uh, not a question yet. Okay. Uh, so, and I know at least one competitor, uh, Ukrainian competitor, yes. of such type of, not the drones, but small planes. Do you know about them? Um, the uh, detection uh, of the uh, smoke uh, is uh, very yes, important. Yes, they have this option as well. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm asking whether you know the uh, existing product of yes, the Ukrainian yes. market. Uh, but uh, in Ukrainian market, uh, there is such a company. Uh, but uh, in uh, countries uh, that are uh, that don't have uh, th that have a very dry uh, uh, summer. Uh, the uh, such type uh, of a system uh, won't work because time of response uh, <coughs> is uh, very big. So we, we need to... Uh, so your competitive advantage is response time? Yes, yes. And, and speed of uh, information transfer. Okay, thanks. And the information is given directly to civilians. So people can decide uh, and choose the road of to avoid the fire. Okay. It's very crucial situations because um, two years ago, my grandfather was, uh, I was in marathon just during the fire and my gra and gra grandfather uh, drove a car uh, to the marathon uh, and uh, he didn't know what the roads, uh, what roads are closed by fire. So he needed to choose it, to choose the, road, the right road. Uh, and uh, actually, uh, in that time, that idea came to me, that people need information about uh, the, the, the situation, which is very dangerous. Mm, thank you for presentation. Uh, for my point, yes, it's important uh, knows. Uh, but my question is, um, have you thought uh, how many resources you need for prototype? 
Uh, yes, uh, I said that uh, we built a, a financial plan for uh, a few months, but we in, in the presentation we included only costs because of the time. Uh, the financial plan requires uh, about uh, uh, forty to fifty thousand uh, dollars to start. It's uh, to cover the big region, uh, the region of about two or three cities. Uh, when uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <shall I> end? <laughs> uh, about two or three cities, because uh, we had the research uh, and we actually asked the civilians if uh, they will use uh, this system mm -hmm. or buy subscription. Um, about 20% uh, of them uh, uh, said that uh, it uh, will be uh, very important and they will buy it. I, yes, it's ten about years per month. Uh, subscribers, but I asked about resources, not financial. What do you need for, um, for, for produce prototype? Uh, yes, um, actually the model uh, is... Um, combination of the parts they uh, we expect uh, we build the model such uh, of a type that uh, the parts will be 3d printed so uh, we don't mm -hmm. need uh, uh, a fabric to <laughs> to make them uh, and uh, all the components of the drone uh, will be shipped separately and assembled on place mm -hmm. uh, so to reduce the costs because uh, there are no uh, type of uh, products and uh, uh, the, the country Greece uh, can buy drones and uh, turn them into firefighting drones, uh, but the problem is uh, that they uh, don't want to buy drones from from the main developer because that's Turkey, and they they had political issues. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Please return the microphones over there. So the fourth team, personal assistant. Можете поклацать несколько раз. Туда, сюда, туда, туда. Саша, we have a situation. There is some. Oh, no, it works. No situation anymore. No, just wait a second. We need full attention of our judges to your pitch. So this is the team with the concept name personal assistant. And you may start in five seconds. Okay. Yes. Good afternoon, dear audience and judges. We uh, want to present you our project, uh, Personal Assistant. We value time. We want to help you to be more innovative and stay fresh. So recently, for example, my friend's uh, restaurant uh, lost $1,000 because uh, the fridge went um, out of order and nobody knew about it. And it was the reason why um, 15 uh, kilos of uh, marmor meat was um, spoiled. Because of that, we found three problems. So the first one is salad products. The second is the uh, fridge uh, uh, turns off. It causes damages. And the last one, uh, some people forgot to order products. So personal assistant is a brand new technology that will help you uh, make your life and business better. Uh, you don't have uh, now to look into your fridge and decide what you're going to buy next. And you don't have to do it daily. 
because the system knows exactly what you want, uh, what you have to buy by only scanning all your fridge's contains and giving you all the necessary information. What's more, the fridge is equipped with an artificial intelligence that you can see uh, on your own uh, as a hologram and you can speak to it. Um, impressive, isn't it? So basically, um, there is a hologram that will help you. Uh, so, uh, how it works? Z and I will be built into the fridge, and um, also the scanner will be built into the, frame, uh, into the fridge, and uh, this scanner will uh, scan the special QR code of different uh, product and uh, create uh, own, uh, own database uh, with uh, different uh, colors, the uh, thematics, uh, and um, for example, the yellow col uh, color um, mind that uh, this product will be uh, expired tomorrow and uh, you should uh, use it. Uh, so what is um, our hologram? Uh, also, we have a mobile application and um, you have a menu of products in your fridge. You can choose uh, one of them. So, uh, for example, we uh, choose milk. You can see the image of it, nutrition value, and uh, the next one, you can see the packing date and expiration date. Also, uh, AE technology in the fridge uh, helps us to um, add necessary products in the, uh, our application. Also, you can add uh, your products that you want. Uh, our customer segment. Uh, uh, Personal assistant is aimed to the um, hostel, hotels, restaurants, and cafes. The, uh, may we expand the restaurant with high quality uh, cousin. Unique value is personalization because we can change our hologram and uh, change all settings. Uh, it's saving money. You can monitor your health with expi expiration dates and no waste of natural resources. How we sell? We have technology for the fridge and program. Uh, technology we can uh, sell to the manufacturers and program we can, uh, um, we can sell to everybody because application can be used without the fridge. Uh, so we were planning to involve Ukrainian manufacturers at first. The most known of them are Kiwi, Delfa and Mirta. And then in a few years uh, we were going to uh, involve also other manufacturers in Europe. Uh, that's uh, Electrolux in Sweden and uh, Gorenje in Slovenia and uh, also uh, LG and Samsung in future. Uh, also, we have total spending. You can see it uh, on the flat. It's developing, commission and operating and product output. Uh, so our fridge will cost uh, three thousand uh, dollars, and it is uh, assumed that we can uh, divide uh, between uh, the manufacturers and uh, our team. Uh, so also we are going to spread our product mainly in Kiev, as it's uh, the capital city, and also in Lviv and Odessa. Uh, in, in the first year, we uh, can have uh, $3,400 and uh, be in the Ukraine uh, market. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please judge us your question. Yeah. Where, did the, uh, where did the idea come from? Uh, it was my idea when I had dinner with my family, uh, so we thought that it is so good when we can um, use information technologies and um, uh, AI system in uh, our uh, fridge, but uh, we thought that it's so much for the uh, one people or for one family, and uh, it is so good for restaurant business and no so much for restaurant because uh, the um, the money is that um, they can um, uh, they can lost uh, it is um, um, not so much that it can um, yes pay for the fridges. You're from Dnipro. Yes, yes of yes. course. 
And Dnipro is not in the list of the cities where you go. Uh, to we have the third place or something like that because uh, the most uh, amount of restaurants is uh, contained in the Kiev, uh, Lviv, and so on. So justification is amount of restaurants. Yeah. We thought it would be more efficient if we will launch our product in Kiev and earn more money and then launch in other cities too. You are showing and at your presentation like big names, Samsung, Electrolux. Have you talked to them or just assumption that they will... Uh, we were going to uh, also take part in some exhibitions and contests so we can promote our uh, product and maybe involve other companies too. So to be now, interested. now it's assumption. You have not talked to them yet. No. Thank you. But they thought about that, right? <laughs> so that's great. That, that, like, I just checked the, the one question. Uh, thank you for the presentation. Uh, do you have competitors? Looking for uh, yes, we uh, are looking in the market, and we saw some free fridges uh, that have some of these um, uh, some of these qualities that we have, but um, they don't have galgrams. They don't use um, some technologies that we can use for this fridge, mm -hmm. so uh, we don't have the main competitors. And our advantage is so um, in this in our brochure uh, you have information that uh, you can change the temperature of every shelf. It is um, also our uh, innovation uh, because in uh, other fridges uh, they haven't this technology, and uh, it is uh, anything new in this. Um, in this fair, and so uh, we think uh, it can uh, help to, uh, for example, when you have uh, dessert and uh, other uh, different products, uh, you can, you must have uh, a different temperature regime, and uh, it can help to uh, save all with um, products uh, neighbors also uh, with um, different temperature. Uh, also, this fridge has artificial intelligence. Uh, it's used in the galograms, and galograms will help you to cook or find external data and to choose the product or something like that. Okay, thank you. Amazon product. Thank you. <laughs> will your product help to combat our consumption? Because it's like the biggest problem in the world ri right now. Uh, can you uh, ask uh, one more okay. time? You know that, uh, that at the moment in the world, uh, food waste is one of the biggest problems. So how your product will combat this? Uh, so <coughs> we have products in the fridge. And uh, some days we don't know even uh, what is in our fridges. And sometimes we don't look at the external data and buy something that we don't need in the shops. So our product can help you to make shopping list and don't buy uh, food that you don't need. And uh, uh, you can use uh, products that will... Uh, um, that will... Uh, so, uh, our fridge can uh, help you don't eat more than you need. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, but, for example, for restaurant business, when you have two packs of sour cream, and uh, one of them uh, will be expired tomorrow, uh, our um, AI system uh, suggests to use it uh, because um, to reduce um, a product's uh, waste. Thank you so much, girls. Thank, Thank you. you. Good job. So that was the team with the concept name personal assistant. And I am inviting the fifth team, Natis. Please prepare for your pitch. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is. Ah. No, yeah, you can say what's your name, by the way. My name is Alexei. <laughs> cool. Her name but, is Vika. <laughs> but just don't start the picture. Okay? 
Он летает. Вам не потребен микрофон? So, the concept name is Natis, and in five seconds you may start. Sasha, Sasha, does not work. The, our time. Are you ready to start? Yes. Okay, so we may start. About 11 million deaths a year are linked to poor diet all over the globe. Bad diets are responsible for more deaths than smoking. Hello, my name is Victoria, presenting Nades here, the complex for making your control of nutrition easier. Why easier? All of us want to look great, to be fit. I'm sure a lot of people here in this room went on diet one day. And how many of you still stick to it till today? Yeah, research says that only 14% of people have strength to control their diet after one month. At the same time, the problem of counting, for example, sugars is critical for diabetics and other people with diseases. Solution comes with turning on Nadis, the complex of three, overlay, bracelet, and a mobile app. Let's see how Nadis work. Let's imagine I'm just sitting in the cafe deciding what to order. Hmm, I'm turning on my overlay, and based on the information uh, I see, it identifies the food in front of me. I easily pick the last sweet dish, as I don't eat sweets. Um, what was doing all this time my bracelet and my mobile lab? So during the whole day, my bracelet was counting my burned calories. And now I can easily see it in the Nadis mobile app, just as well as personal recommendations and difference between gained and burned calories. We think our complex will be the most uh, helpful for such society groups like athletes, vegetarians, elderly people, people with diabetes or any other diseases, uh, and people leading or really trying to lead healthy lifestyle. The most people with type we found in North America, Australia, and in some European countries like Finland, Switzerland, and Austria. Uh, but yes, we found not only consumers, but some competitors too. For example, Mi Band, but it counts only burned calories and, no, and gives no uh, personal recommendations. At the same time, uh, there is a life sum. It is a typical app for counting calories, but also you have to do everything manually, which is not really comfortable. So with our B2C business model, we plan to sell the whole complex for $350, given one year of free app usage. Every next month will cost $3.25. Um, we want to cover all our target auditory, but understand that there is some food we don't know about to recognize it properly with our camera. So our decision is to make the function for the users so they can upload their food in our databases. For this, they will receive a 15% discount and develop our product. We started our work this November. So far, we collected a team, made our first MVPs for the bracelet and the overlay, made the basis of the mobile app, made a filed, um, filed the patent, and made a landing website. And we are moving on the same high speed to have already first products and first sales already in March. Um, in the first year, we plan to have our own brand and two complexes. And talking about the further future, we will have our own office and sell our products in the batches in office and, uh, and in some shops. And uh, sure, every startup needs a perfect idea and uh, the perfect team. Uh, CEO, CEO is, our, is uh, Serhi. I'm a designer of Nadis products, and Alexei is our website developer. Yeah, he's here. Um, so why we? We are using cutting edge technologies for neural network learning for our overlay. Also, we make everything automatized as the world just moves to it. So instead of pressing 1,000 buttons, you have to press only one here in the overlay, and everything works. And lastly, the positive poll results. We made a questionnaire about uh, about what people want from us, how, what problems do they have. And they said that Nadis is just what people want and ready to pay for. Nadis, to make your food visible. Thank you. Four minutes, wow. Judges, your questions, please. This, is, uh, this was a perfect presentation, really. Thank you. I really enjoyed the things. Um, and uh, my question is actually, you know, even in one salad, it could be different amount of calories, actually. It depends on oils and, and stuff. Uh, how do you solve this? 
Um, yes, actually, um, as we can, we separate the food. For example, uh, there is like a borscht and a borscht with a sour cream. So we try to separate, for example, here is borscht, here is sour cream, so it identifies two different, um, two different uh, like subjects on, on the plate. But when we can't uh, separate it, like in the salad, because we don't know how many mayonnaise uh, did we put there, so we take just the average amount of calories there. Um, so it's great that you already started so much, and, and this stuff is also here. Yeah. So, uh, at first I thought it was recording me, but then I understood <laughs> that this is just for products. Um, so, um, like, to be honest, I didn't get uh, the, um, the market. So it's like, yes, people, but um, in different countries, people treat food differently. Yeah, so what market would you like to start with? Or maybe I misheard, I'm sorry, I was so concentrated on the whole idea. Uh, <laughs> um, yes, actually we analyzed the market and spoke to uh, people from different countries, especially in Europe. So we spoke to people from Finland, from Austria, from Switzerland, and uh, especially these countries that I named. Uh, it was like the problem with the most uh, problem with counting calories and uh, living a healthy lifestyle. Like it is a bit less in uh, in Germany or in some other countries, so uh, it is not our target market yet. Uh, so um, in a whole, our target market is America because uh, everyone I think you know that like the problem with um, counting food there and uh, to control the weight, and um, so America, Australia, and European countries like Finland, Austria, and Switzerland. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Thanks for presentation. Maybe a stupid question, but uh, do you have to wear all the time this stuff on your uh, No, no. Um, I know uh, that some there were some Google prog uh, programs with uh, overlay, and uh, it was a, uh, it was a pr problem because people saw that everyone is filming everyone, uh, it, and it wasn't really comfortable for people. Like you are filming me, I don't want you to film me, and uh, so where there were some problems with privacy. So we don't want like these problems, and we don't we don't want these problems to stop us. Uh, so you have to wear it only when you are trying uh, when you are eating the food, so it can recognize it, but not any time, any other time. Is it real now? Or uh, it is an uh, MVP. Just a an MVP, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you for presentation. Um, maybe I'm not clear. Could you repeat your advantage? Uh, so, first of all, we're using uh, cutting edge technology, like the world, um, you know, uh, here is even a joke, if you don't have an artificial intelligence or some uh, neural network uh, now, it is not a prog uh, the project. Uh, well, it's actually a joke, but we still use uh, neural network learning uh, for, uh, for recognizing the food there, there is to compare uh, what is it, or how many calories does it have, uh, how many sugars, or any other nutrition stuff. And um, also we have uh, like a positive poll result because we asked people what do they want and then we created the product, not the other way. Not the other way. And they said like, yes, we're ready to pay for it and at your price, we're ready to pay it to buy the product, to have this possibility to count, to control the white. And uh, also we automatize uh, all the processes so um, the, the world just moves to it like uh, not to, uh, we don't now have keys for the car, we just have it like um, it is in Bluetooth and um, so we are moving to this, to this stuff that we don't have uh, many, many gadgets so, uh, or we don't p press a lot, of, um, a lot of stuff in the mobile phone, you don't make everything manually like word by word, every product by product given this uh, amount of product you are not uh, typing in it, uh, typing in, in uh, the mobile phone but only you're pressing here one button mm -hmm. and everything starts to work. Okay, thank you. And don't eat. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop eating. <laughs> we actually thought about the shocker in the bracelet, <laughs> like to stop eating. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> but we think Why it not? would be <laughs> really <laughs> legal, yeah. No way. That, 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 could, that could work, actually. Right? Yeah. <laughs> So actually you can contact us there in the poster, you can see our number and any other questions we are Thank you respond. so much. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Cool.
So this was the fifth team. Uh, and now we are ready to have break, right? So we have a 30 minutes break. Uh, so we can meet around like 10, yeah, in, in 20, in 30 minutes.
their concepts. So the first one is going to be TrueSlab. It works? Yeah. Yeah. So wait a second, just five, sec five seconds and you may start. Hello, Diamond Challenge. My name is Artyom. And I am Vitaly. And today we present TrueSlab, the web service which helps recognize fake information. Every day we consume a lot of information, but more than 30% of it is not original. Whether we want, whether we not, each of us can share false information. In fact, every force had done it at least once for the last month, so fakes arise. Entire fake recognition services can solve the problem, but all of them have the same drawbacks. Hide professionals analyze information manually. This takes a lot of time, and the accuracy doesn't exceed more than 75%. So we strive to automate this process, and we created TrueSlab, an understandable, balanced, and functional application. Previously, it took hours to recognize fakes. Now it takes seconds, and the result is available on your tablet, smartphone, or laptop. We've looked at our competitors' experience and have chosen the most popular functions. So now, TrueSlab can analyze texts, photos, and documents. The application is based on machine learning technologies. Artificial intelligence cope with the task 3,600 times faster than the fact-checking professionals. Users' activity expands the database, improving the algorithm. Their accuracy have already reached 85%. So, for the best user experience, we have simplified the scenarios of interactions. So now, app design is light and usable. Let's check this with text analysis. The app defines the probability of a fake percent of plagiarism and the text subject. It also can show similar topics, the source and and language in the user's dashboard. This all is available from the start. Other functions users can get with a paid subscription. TrueSlab can show whether Photoshop was used in the photos. It distinguishes between overlapping different photos, changing background and color. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook hire a fact-checking organization to check the content. We propose to automate this process. Also, users can check signatures at the documents. The app compares them with the database of the Ministry of Internal Affairs. By the way, in 2019, we have signed a cooperation agreement with a forensic center under the leadership of the Ministry of Internal Affairs. In the next five years, the artificial intelligence market will reach $119 billion. Moreover, the fake checking software market grew 12% from 2012. Our competitors are Stop Fake, Policy Fact, and Full Fact. They work in certain regions, but their work is still performed by a human. We use artificial intelligence, and this is our advantage. For the launch, we need $15,000 of investments, and the app will be interesting for B2C, B2G, and B2B sectors. A business can integrate our tool into their projects or to improve the employee productivity. Common users, journalists, writers, TV channels will use it for their tasks. The initial functionality of the service is available without registration. This approach calls the freemium model. By the way, the subscription policy will be $15,000 of investments in three quarters. Our competitors are mostly non-commercial organizations. Their work is not stable and they operate due to donation. Their work is put on a human, free of charge, and that's why the accuracy rarely exceeds more than 75%. We will stimulate users to switch to advanced features at a low price. The full implementation of the project will take two years. But the primary goal is to create an MVP in the next half of year. This period is necessary, is necessary for complete testing of technology, application development, patenting, and at the same time, we are looking for the first customers, partners, and investors. The team is three people. Andrei Morozov is our mentor. He has 17 years of programming experience. Artem is idea creator and developer, and time engaged in a chair. In everyone who is interested in this project, we see potential partner. So we start to cooperate with Novata Youth Union. Those guys help us with design and marketing. Together, we can minimize the fakes. Walk the project, make truth trendly, and as you know, who owns information, own the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Judges, please, your questions. Thanks, guys. It was interesting, especially taking into account that um, I used to be a teacher on uh, critical thinking. Uh, and um, I have a question. So how do you check um, news? Because sometimes, for instance, with the Boeing uh, crash, uh, for instance, when you don't have facts, 
yet? What happened? How do you check uh, this kind of information? So to create a neural network, we have uh, collected the database, which consists of 10,000 of texts. Half of them were the fake texts. We took them from the service like PolitiFact, FullFact, and others. So they were really fake, and the others weren't fake. And so we uh, learned, uh, we trained the neural network, and now, uh, as soon as new data arrives, the neural network retrains, and their accuracy is more higher. Uh, is higher. So uh, now, if you if we put some text of Boeing into True Slab, it will show you is it fake or it's not, and about the plagiarism, what uh, was it taken from from the website or its original. Well, my question was actually, how do you know uh, when you don't have uh, the fact that, like, who crashed the plane, for instance? You don't have this information yet. Nobody knows. Uh -huh. But there are a lot of news around. So, and we, there is no, um, you know, uh, no chance to get whether it's a truth or fake, for instance. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, I understand. So, we using natural language processing. So, in the text, there are a patterns which are, si uh, which are similar to the fakes. So the neural network looks through the text and finds those patterns and they make a decision. Is it fake or it's not? And in the fact about the Boeing, for example, or coronavirus, it, it can, it can be, uh, neural networks can look through it and find the patterns. Also, if you're talking about the testing of technology, every week we are going to contact the professionals uh, so uh, they will uh, uh, they will test the neural network with the text and then mark uh, the 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 cases where the neural network is wrong. So the uh, programmers will use it for retraining the neural network and develop the architecture of neural network. So it will be better to use. What countries are you targeting? We are really confident that everyone in the world will use it. Because, you know, uh, each day, each of us living among the information. And this information is so different. So now uh, any of us can, uh, can uh, really say, is information fake or it's not? So, you know, um, in the future with TrueSlab, uh, you can analyze text and you can know the information and you will be sure in the information you are consuming and this will you uh, this will help you to live more uh, this will help you to trust in news in, in, in information that you are consuming and you will uh, feel more happy living uh, among the truth how long does it take to check the news for me for example i I should download, then I should, what, I, what I shall I do? What is my journey? You just open the website. You just copy the text from some source, maybe some CNN, BBC. You just put the text here, click the button check, and you'll see all information. Was it a plagiarism? Is it original? It's not. Is it fake? And so on. And, and, and what, what else? I, I become satisfied with, with the check or... Uh, if, if you are, are looking for knowing is a text fake or it's not, you can just put text and you'll know it. So it's enough for you. But also you can uh, look through is it plagiarism or it's not, is it spam or it's not, was it in someone's source uh, before it, and, uh, and other similar text maybe from other sources. Thanks. So you just use artificial intelligence, you said, yes? But um, like you never created anything else. I mean, um, what have you got for the moment? For the moment? Just we the idea? Or you, yeah. So for now, we have uh, algorithms that are working for analyzing text. So okay. about the fake recognition, plagiarism, spam, and so on, language and the similar topics, similar sources, it is already developed. Also, we have developed the uh, prototype of application that's ready to analyze signatures. So now we have a database of 10 signatures and together with the Forensic Center under the leadership of the Minister of Internal Affairs, we are developing, we are developing it. So as, uh, as soon as they have a new research 
uh, for the signatures, we, uh, we added to a database, we trained a neural network, and then uh, trying to test it and see what f the signatures are fake and what are not. I see. Yeah, thank you. Kalina, you wanted to ask something. No? Okay, thank you so much, guys. That was the team Truth Lab. And now, Trip Helper. One, two. Yes, one, two. Yes, one, two. Yes, one, two. Yes, one, Wait a you are ready? moment. That's cool. Our judges are not ready yet. So our next team gonna present their concept, Trip Helper. So in five seconds you may start. Good afternoon, dear audience. We are a team Trip Helper from City Dnipro. We are going to present you our idea of creating a platform um, for planning single or joint trips uh, and communication with guides and drivers. A few words about our team. We have already participated in a lot of contests and uh, it has improved our professional skills and teamwork. For example, uh, we won the semifinals of International Collegiate Programming Contests and took the first place in the tournament of Young Informatics. So nowadays, people face many uh, challenges during travels and their planning. Firstly, uh, interaction with travel agencies takes a lot of time and money. Uh, secondly, uh, traveling alone, it's not the good way. Uh, then, uh, for some people, it's quite difficult to build the optimal route for the trip, so uh, they waste a lot of time on moving between places. So, Trip Helper is the best solution for those who have ever encountered at least one similar problem. Our concept is to develop a cross-platform application where the traveler can easily build his own road based on his uh, personal preferences in any city in the world, where Appen shares this road with other users and subsequently unite with them in one touristic group. Moreover, this platform can be used by guides and drivers who can, um, uh, who can check these roads by people uh, and offer them their services. Uh, this platform will be very useful for travelers because uh, they will make new acquaintances. Uh, also, it will be much more cheaper than in travel agencies and all their routes will correspond to their preferences. Also, it will be very useful for guides and drivers because they will work with their clients directly without any intermediaries. Now let's look about technology. We added Google, Google Maps API to our app which allows us to receive information about the most popular tourist items in any city in the world. Uh, to build routes, we use uh, uh, optimization methods simulated and needing. Okay. Also, we plan to provide a rating system, both for tourists and for guides and drivers, uh, to exclude uh, best situations that could happen during using the app. Uh, for tourists, people from a group can either like or report you if they want to. And for, and for the rest, it will work like an Uber. Um, of course, we have uh, some competitors. First of them is Tripster. Uh, it is a platform uh, which um, offers uh, some prearranged uh, tours with, uh, local, um, with local guides. Also, the second one is TripAdvisor, which helps to choose uh, places uh, to visit. Uh, our unique value is in that we, mm, uh, we just uh, uh, provide uh, interaction between tourists uh, with their own preferences. Also, uh, we decided to add um, a special function that will enable people with, uh, uh, with uh, some problems to use our uh, application. If we have special information, uh, we can offer them uh, comfortable places to visit. Uh, so, uh, let's talk uh, about uh, revenue model. Uh, firstly, uh, we uh, set, uh, uh, set a certain uh, tax for 
uh, guys and drivers uh, for their works uh, to uh, uh, to use our uh, platform and uh, they uh, 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 guides and drivers uh, and drivers can uh, use our program uh, and uh, Okay, and secondly, we plan to use ads in our platform, and uh, but we need to uh, pay money for server rental and for using Google Maps API. Yes, uh, our roadmap. Firstly, we want to cooperate with uh, local volunteers to get up-to-date information about the places. And second, we want to um, uh, develop our project first three months in Ukraine because it's much more easier to get ne necessary information there. And then uh, we want to implement it in Europe. So now we'll uh, see. Uh, you'll see what we have. It's the main screen of our location. You can type any city, then it's download, and uh, there is a list of uh, hotels. Then you just uh, select any one, and you have a list of um, to some tourist places in these categories. You also select some of them. And then the program builds roads. It's the first part of our application, so we'll do uh, in the future more. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. Um, I have a question about competitors and, um, about, for example, about Trip My Dream. What is the advantage? of your product? Uh, actually, I don't know about the trip my dream. Uh -huh. uh, maybe you'll say how it does work? Uh, it's a um, marketplace, marketplace platform um, uh, when you can uh, choose a hotel, a plane, a restaurant and something. Ah, okay. So the first, um, our advantage is that uh, People they build their own route for the no, for the day example. Then they can unite with other people with the same preferences in one group because it's much more either no. And of course, uh, everyone want to make new acquaintances. And then after they have made a group, they can uh, find a local driver and local guide for their tour. And it will be much more um, cheaper than with travel agencies and uh, you know. They will get your acquaintances. I think that's it's cool. Thanks, guys. So you mentioned that it will also work for people for blind and deaf people. Can you elaborate more on how exactly it will work? Uh, okay. Uh, so um, now we s we have started to collect the database connected with the places where there is um, necessary equipment for these people. So we did it for our city. And uh, what we can say is that, um, for example, uh, the program will uh, select, mm, you just manage what, what group of people are you? Mm, to, to, uh, like, yes. And then the program, um, it's like, prepare for you a list of places which are mm, where you can go. Uh, and then it helps it helps you to make the right route uh, with, with the places where you can go. Mm. So if you are a blind person, uh, it will um, like build route with the uh, um, places, for example, look, with the museums, there is a, there is a shrift braille. braille. So uh, also it will um, work uh, like with pedestrian crosses if there is a like voice. Uh, was help because uh, I'm asking because uh, um, there are tons and tons of competitors you have you know and uh, so this could be your competitive advantage like if you build a route especially for deaf and blind people it it's it, it's your competitive advantage it's That's one just a suggestion yes. okay thanks uh, well to be honest this is the first time when I hear that in the uh, application you can find of course in the internet we can find the list of places where for enable people it's um, better more convenient to use to travel and so on um, it seems like uh, you gathered guys from different apps uh, uh, and added this like from uber 
and TripAdvisor that you actually mentioned, yes. And uh, you also added some, uh, the main, like the greatest idea was about this, like for enabled people. So maybe you should put an accent uh, on exactly this thing. As for the question, I don't even know what to ask. I love traveling and many people love traveling. The most, like, it, it can be a very, very good application, definitely, especially for um, enabled people. Uh, yes, uh, but uh, I also want to mention that uh, like, mm, making a group of people with the same preferences, it's also, I think, very interesting because uh, like new acquaintances, uh, like some social part, I can say. How long does it take to prepare the project to this stage, as you, as you know? Mm, I think that uh, it took a lot of time because that mechanism which we, which you saw about the application, uh, it um, contains uh, from very like um, hard algorithms. Uh, it's like simulated and linear. It's um, uh, genetic algorithm. So it was like. Um, very hard to do <laughs> this. So how long on average, like several months? I think that three or four months. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you thank very you. much, guys. Thank, thank you. you, guys. So this was the team with their concept trip helper. And now, handy coping <coughs> soap. Does it work? Yeah. Shall we start? No, not yet. <laughs> Can you show us how to use this? Okay. This works. <laughs> Wait Ladies. a second. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have our timing. Does it work? Yeah. Yes, so uh, in five seconds you may start. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor for us to share with you a new idea concerning our improvement of the famous device. So, so let us begin. begin. During craft lessons, students use coping sauce for making various products from plywood. For instance, Christmas tree decorations, layouts, and so on. Our product is appointment for jewelry, designers, and students. Uh, modern cup and salt that are sold in the market, unfortunately, are not perfect. Our rivals produce cheap and poor quality uh, devices. Here are the problems of them. Firstly, the file jumps out when it is falling in the connection with also to translational hand movements. Secondly, in the connection of the, uh, vo of the exploitation, the bolt or the wing nuts, it's arising by passages and after that, the ball can break down. Why is this beneficial for us, you may ask? Our answer is, the proposed handy and saw has extender clamp that reliably compress the file, more reliably than the bolt or the wing nut. Furthermore, there are not any details, they are spoiling quickly. So, there is now the disadvantage, uh, advantage, sorry, it is easier to use the handy coping saw if you want to put it to share the file and the any uniqueness of our coping saw is the, uh, is the construction simplicity of it. The total market volume in our country is 180,000 coping saws per 40 million people, which is the population of Ukraine. It's 36,000 um, uh, coping saws per year. In the first year, we will be able to sell only 2,000 coping saws, but it is 1.1% of the total market volume. So. 
Uh, now let us share with you uh, the strategy of achieving our goal. Firstly, we buy the components at the local market and produce copy and sauce. Secondly, we register ourselves as entrepreneurs and pay minimal taxes, completed within until July 2020. Thirdly, we establish cooperation in foreign shops. After that, we will buy a device for packing our products via the internet. And after that, we will open the accounts in Express and Zoom, so our devices will be sold abroad. Now you can see uh, in our presentation uh, a calculation of the prices of making uh, our cup and sauce in a single production. Uh, so if we sell 100 uh, cup and sauce, we will have $200. Uh, also during selling, we will emphasize the reliability, the easiness of their using and uh, the um, uh, quality of our cup and sauce. Uh, also, we will set up higher prices than usual cheap cup and sauce and uh, lower than our rivals ones. Uh, our price will be at the level of $6. Uh, also, the transportation to a customer will cost uh, up to $1. So, the total price uh, for a customer will be $7. Now we have some any idea to share with you. So, firstly, our activity will be held in Dozy sometime. Secondly, we will hire three hardworking students for helping us and who is eager to earn some money. And thirdly, when the business is successful, we can have three full-time employments for the work. And here is our team. Uh, definitely you will ask why <laughs> here are uh, four people. Um, our team consists of four people, but um, two of them now are currently are busy with their scientific projects in Kiev as well. You know, the events coincide. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Thank you for your attention. We are open for your question. So you have guys in your team, yes? Yeah. Because yeah. When, you, when two beautiful girls came up and uh, I've got this. <laughs> so, uh, so this is actually your product, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, it will cost like $5 approximately, no, right? No, uh, about $7 ah, for seven. a customer. Okay. Yeah. And you are going to send it um, everywhere? No, we have a business plan. Uh -huh. uh, firstly, um, we need to defend our um, <laughs> uh, our project f um, for uh, to prevent uh, stealing it uh, by other companies. Uh, secondly, we will c uh, cooperate with the uh, big uh, supermarkets as uh, Epicenter. Um, because uh, his owner is our fellow lender. Uh, one more question. You got, uh, I've got this. Yeah. So yeah. I can make it, actually, it's like a handmade? Yes. yes. With this stuff? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you. A member of our team did uh, these uh, souvenirs for you. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we hope uh, this uh, handmade will uh, um, remind you this uh, event and you as being... <laughs> remind <judges>. you us. <laughs> How long does it take to learn how to use this stuff? Unfortunately, we don't know because uh, <laughs> really, <laughs> uh, we um, we and <laughs> uh, cannot use Google it. Okay. We just um, we're developing the business plan, business but plan our is. guys can use it. <laughs> okay. But I think it is uh, like very easy. I think I suppose for my mind. <laughs> okay, uh, what does it mean when you, when you showed a slide with team? There was like uh, indication of like nine form, ten form. What does it What does it mean? Uh, because uh, every person from our team is uh, from uh, different uh, forms. Classes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for clarification. Sometimes it's it's hard to <laughs> know all the terms. You know. Nevertheless, we are like judging. We understand you. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, thank you. Uh, good presentation and thank you for souvenir. Uh, my question is, uh, who comes uh, up with this idea? 
Oh, it's a great question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, um, this idea came up to our uh, member, um, to our team member's mind. Uh, his name is Mark, and uh, he is absent today. He's currently okay. busy with his scientific project in Kiev as well. Okay. Thank you. Uh, hi, girls. It's an amazing project. Um, Really cool, and thanks for stealing there as well. Uh, my suggestion is to apply for a patent as soon as possible, if you have, ha haven't we yet. We have already had any patent. Yeah. You already have a patent? Yes. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. it uh, has big chances too. Perfect, yeah. yeah. So then you are safe. Uh, and, the se and the second thing is that you actually, um, I think you have to also think about uh, some kind of instruction, uh, how to use this so, because it can uh, increase the, your customers. Yeah, understand you. you uh, we have a plan. We intend to um, add uh, some instruction for a, to a box where we will buy our cup and sauce. Maybe to a present box with layouts yeah. and with the coping sauce. Mm -hmm. Cool. Then you're all set. <laughs> Fan Z Z Fans. <laughs> Sorry. Fans Cyber School. Please prepare for your test. <laughs> From coping source to cyber school. In five seconds, you may start. Hello, we are Fan Cyber School team, and today we are presenting the new business concept of creating an eSports school. Cyber Sports is a team or individual competition based on video games. It is a new um, and rapidly developing um, trend. Uh, mm, that combines uh, physical and virtual sport. Cybersports began. Cybersports began to develop in the late 20th century. The first tournament was held in 1997 on the Quake game. After that, gaming tournament became popular in most countries of the world. The first international esports federation was founded in 28. In uh, 2017, esports became official in Ukraine, and according. To the International Esports Federation, this kind of sport will be at the Olympic very soon. Uh, just a few Ukrainian cyber sportsmen have achieved success at the international level, and most of them have already given up. No, there is not a single Ukrainian team that includes only representatives of Ukraine. Having analyzed the situation of cyber sport in Ukraine, we came to the conclusion that due to the lack of experience in young players, we had to buy stronger ones from other countries. It will be quite difficult to achieve success without them. But our first team believes that the solution to this problem is to create a school to train specialists. Uh, the idea is uh, special training will be held with the help of a team of professionals. It can save the offers, uh, efforts and time of learners. Now in Ukraine, along with the ordinary gaming clubs, there is one potential competitor, the Cyber School Sports Academy Bendigo. This academy started works 
in late 2019, they uh, have positioned themselves as a school where they will train future cyber sportsmen, but in fact, it turned out to be just a computer club with uh, an academy prefix. In 2018, Ukrainians spent about $161 million on uh, video games. The budget of the prize winning in eSport competition is already close to prize winning in ordinary sport. Very soon, these disciplines will be discussed on the same level. In Fortnite, 16 years old Booga player earned $3 million in World Cup Championship. We have chosen three main disciplines that are popular in Ukraine. Let's see the record online players for the day uh, that these games reached in the world. Fortnite, CSGO, and Dota 2. Our main idea is to promote cyber sport in Ukraine for the younger generation. Fan Cyber School is great to help players replace self-study with a team of tutors who will help the, to re reduce training time. Under the good dance of coaches, the dream of becoming a professional player comes true. Uh, we create curtain condition in which uh, players join different teams and compete for the title of the best player. They will improve their performance in the team, learning the game discipline they have chosen. We analyze the action during the game and correct major errors, demonstrate new secret strategies, new flaws and tricks. Advertising primarily uses social networks such as Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, because nowadays most of young people spend their free time in social networks. That's why such advertising is considered to be the most effective in our time. We are going to use uh, advertising banners in big cities. So we expect to reach a huge audience willing to learn or perhaps even work in the fans team. It causes a great interest. There may be collaborations with popular computer equip equipment manufacturers. There are about 2.3 billion active players around the world and most of their users are teenagers. Therefore, our audience will mainly consist of children age 12 years and older. The advantage of our adults is the speed of learning and perception in, of information. Teenagers like the experiment, like to experiment and are easy to learn and perceive the information. We made a financial plan and uh, the detailed information you can see in the booklets. Our team and thank you for your attention, our contacts. Thank you, thank you guys. Judges, your questions please. I feel like old school, you know, I just, okay, I don't understand. I'm a girl and I have this application. It's not an application, it's a kind of what, actually. So I was listening, yeah, really, but, uh, so I want to play or I want to train. I will have uh, to pay $15 for one training session. What I will get, how it will be for me. I'm just, I don't understand it. Like, let's You got imagine. a new experience. I've got just new experience, okay. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, but um, where will it be? How will it be implemented? In computer games, in um, any collaboration with any staff, what, what the concept is? Because the whole idea, like the principle is, yeah, cyber school, it's great. Very new, very, must be trendy soon, I guess, but what is it? We're training uh, young uh, kids with professional players, and before maybe they can play on arena with uh, other professional players. They come to your um, school. Uh, school. This is like uh, the competitor, you said it's a kind of computer clubs, but it will be different, why? Because we uh, learn kids, and before this, they can show anything. Okay. So I won't be able to participate, right? Because I'm not a kid. 
You can, but only, it's only for uh, children. It's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, for children, but uh, cybersport open for anything. Just any it energy. wasn't in presentation, and I wonder because there was. This is a financial plan I've got. Kids and more fast. Uh, they reaction more fast than. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. Thank you. You've said that uh, children spend lots of time in social uh, media. media. Right. So the idea is to refocus uh, them to learn how to, uh, to, to, like to, to be involved in sports, right? Right, <laughs> right. And what is, like, how do you persuade, persuade the like, parents of these kids? What will be your message for me, for example? I have two kids, uh, nine and 16 years old. So what is, the, what uh, is your kids, message to, par kids, to parents of these kids? Kids uh, want to be, uh, be uh, in future, uh, cyber sportsmen. He want to be a famous. We can do this with a team of uh, professional players. Uh, they work uh, hard, and uh, before this, they uh, can play okay. with my, other players. My, my daughter plays tennis. She plays tennis like she, she has trainings three, three days uh, per week. Uh, like what, how, how long does it take to train uh, like in, in your type of sport? The trainings are three days per uh, weekend. Uh, and, uh, For how long? Like hour to hours? One, one hours and f 30 minutes. Any homework? Uh, yes, we, we do. Sell it to me. <laughs> like <laughs> homework for you? No, no, no. I sell <laughs> the product <laughs> for the, to me, not the homework. Just like I'm trying to, like, uh, to, to persuade you to sell the product to the audience. Just like. So kids become like a, a famous. Yes. Spend less time in the internet, just like searching or using social media, and like achieving new skills. They uh, be famous before uh, they uh, okay famous enough, rich, <laughs> famous. Thank you. Uh, I have a question like uh, how exactly you teach children? Is it like uh, online course or it's web seminar or um, I don't know live communication offline? We talk about lecture lessons. Uh, lecture lessons uh, we post it on YouTube and keep just uh, watching this video in free time. Video will be very informative. This is uh, new tricks, new strategies, and something else. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We are almost there. <coughs> Last but not least.
Okay. It's all set, no? Um, Are you ready? No, not yet. So, ready now? Yeah. So, meet the team, the last one for today, hypercoil. And you may start in five seconds. Okay. Hello, Aaron. I'm Mitty. I'm Stas. And this is hypercoil. Uh, the hypercoil is a smart wireless charger. It charges numerous devices without point-to-point -point contact. Uh, uh, it works due to our uh, uh, patented technology, uh, which uses uh, hyperbolic antennas uh, to uh, convert current into safe electromagnetic waves. These waves transfer electricity in space around. Uh, interaction with the global electromagnetic field helps to increase the uh, charging distance and efficiency, so it works like a common Wi-Fi router. Uh, you don't need to have uh, the light. You don't need to have the latest uh, iPhone to use hypercoil. Uh, just magnet a receiving uh, module to your phone to start its wireless charging. Uh, it converts the waves back into uh, electric current, uh, charging uh, your uh, appliance. Uh, so um, uh, your uh, devices will be always uh, uh, powered and ready to use. Uh, simple. Uh, we uh, have optimized the number of uh, elements uh, of the station, and uh, 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 this uh, device uh, will complement any interior. Uh, we, uh, uh, the managing of a variety of devices needs a, a, a simple application, uh, so uh, it is already in development. Uh, it will uh, it will control all charging devices, uh, play music uh, on, a, on a powerful sound system, and uh, uh, set the station as a Wi-Fi repeater. Um, uh, Hypercoil uh, isn't tied to a de device. Users can uh, freely charge an unlimited number of devices without point-to-point uh, -point, uh, contact uh, simultaneously. Uh, furthermore, the Amazon Alexa Smart Assistant is built in, so uh, communicate with the Hypercoil to get the most out of it. Competitors are PI, power cost, and technology. They transmit electricity on a meter distance but low 70% of it. None of them is a ma mass market product. Enkel, Vitek, Belkin, and Samsung are our indirect competitors. They, pr they produce inductive, uh, inductive charging. <coughs> that can uh, transfer uh, electricity on a, a one a, a centimeter distance. So there is no uh, true wireless charger in the market. Hypercoil price is two hundred thirty-six dollars. We uh, put a uh, hundred and twenty dollars of revenue, and uh, during the first year of operation, we uh, are planning to reinvest all the money in further development. Uh, uh, to start, we need forty-six thousand dollars. The uh, wireless connectivity market is growing at fourteen percent annually. Uh, that means thirty-six billion dollars of market volume by twenty twenty-three. Uh, so we uh, expect uh, to recoup in four quarters. Uh, our business model is based on B two B and B two C, uh, and uh, we uh, will use the social networks and uh, opinion leaders to uh, reach our customers. The hypercoils is based on the target audience. The first target audience is uh, owners of smart home and devices. The, uh, they have a lot of smart appliances in uh, their homes, uh, so it, uh, should, it should be always powered. The second target audience is, uh, de is uh, working spaces, and the third is device manufacturers. Uh, for this, model, uh, for this uh, target audience, the licensing model is offered.
uh, 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 our goal is to uh, unite uh, uh, wireless uh, manufacturers and suppliers in one global ecosystem. Uh, since, the, since 2017, uh, have uh, come to idea to a final prototype. For this period, uh, the team 11 experiments uh, made five prototypes and eight patents. Now we are, cre we are ready to create MVP in three months and launch production in half a year. Our global mission, uh, the uh, hypercore technology, is flexible and ready to scale for any purpose. Our global mission is uh, uh, to uh, make uh, every device wireless. Our, uh, uh, me uh, and Stas are uh, the leaders of the project. Uh, but our team consists of 27 scientists, uh, uh, students and professionals in uh, physics, uh, math and uh, uh, prototyping uh, and marketing. Uh, uh, so together we strive to make people's lives easier. Uh, and we think that Hypercon can lead to these changes. So uh, let's launch it. Thank you. Thank you. Please. I'm shocked, really. <laughs> I've just came from California from Startup Grand Conference at Google and I realized that we brought like wrong startups there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so uh, this is an MVP, so uh, where this did you produce pre -MVP, it? Pre-MVP, pre -MVP. so yeah. Um, um, yeah, pre-MVP. <laughs> Okay, and the, how it works, uh, how you charge this, uh, like, I don't know how to call her, her or him, or it. Uh. <laughs> okay, we have uh, uh, received an antenna of special hyperbolic form. Uh, maybe, you know, waves uh, or uh, hurricane uh, in the air. Uh, this form, uh, um, uh, the uh, antenna is uh, made in, in this form. Uh, and uh, uh, this uh, form uh, makes it possible to transfer electricity all around uh, of the space of the antenna in uh, every dire direction of the space. So you can freely walk uh, with your device and uh, charge it uh, without any wires uh, uh, and uh, on a distance uh, of uh, a few meters. Okay, is it safe for, for, for health? Uh, this station uh, uses a um, uh, low frequency electromagnetic uh, waves uh, and uh, we uh, have measured with a special uh, measuring device uh, the, uh, um, the uh, concentration of radiation of uh, this uh, station and uh, it is uh, less uh, than uh, uh, one watt uh, per kilogram. So uh, it is allowed by, by a, a global federal commission. Okay, are you, are you planning to produce it in Ukraine or in China or... We want uh, to, uh, for the beginning, we want to uh, find uh, some production, uh, some uh, production, and uh, uh, on a, a base of uh, some manufacturing uh, start uh, production. And uh, in the future, we want to uh, make our own uh, uh, production uh, lines to uh, um, cre create it. Thank you. That's really impressive. Uh, so my, my question is, who is the initial inventor? Okay, uh, 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 for uh, a few, uh, about five, uh, three years ago, I worked uh, on uh, at, uh, an atmospheric electricity. Uh, and then we uh, met with uh, our scientists uh, in Kiev, uh, which uh, he is uh, working on antennas and uh, in the field of uh, radio uh, electronics. And uh, together with him, we uh, have cooperated and uh, created uh, uh, this product. Uh, he is uh, in uh, our uh, audience. Vitaly uh, Kruk, Morita Vstate. It is our inventor of the technology. <laughs> also, we have two international patents, one patent uh, in the uh, US and uh, about six patents in Ukraine. Uh, thank you for presentation. Can I uh, charge my phone now? Yeah, we yeah? can connect yeah? it. Oh, what I, how? 
what I need to do. Uh, we have uh, in this uh, uh, model we have a, a prototype. Uh, we have a receiver. It is not uh, as small as it will be in uh, future, uh, but uh, uh, it is uh, we made this receiver, and uh, it, uh, now it works uh, by uh, connecting a cable to your phone, uh, but. Uh, your but in the future, we will uh, make a, a magnet connector, uh, and uh, you will need only a magnet uh, receiver to your phone, and it will start charging. Okay, thanks. I just wanted to ask, like, why this red thing is for you? No, so that's what, what? That's your receiver. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we haven't a uh, 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 body for this receiver, and our uh, print, uh, printer was broken. <laughs> and how long uh, do you work on this project? Uh, 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 together, uh, our team is working on this project about uh, three years, uh, but the technology started developing by Vitaly Likruk about uh, 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. What is your role in the project? Uh, I am uh, uh, the leader of the project with Stas, and uh, we uh, are working on the uh, marketing of the station, uh, design, and uh, um, uh, connecting uh, with the partner and uh, with the partnership. Okay, thank you. Thank you. thank you very much. Thank you. This was the last uh, last team for for today. So uh, you may finally start breathing. Everything is over now, uh, and now uh, we will just um, I will ask our, our judges to collect their papers and proceed uh, after Victoria. Victoria is uh, waiting uh, for you at the doors. And uh, to you, like, uh, you may have a rest for at least 30 minutes. And after this short break, we will finally find out who is the winner and uh, who will get the financial award and the chance to move further to the worldwide finals uh, of Diamond Challenge in April at the University of Delaware. So let's just applaud to each other.
So now it works. Uh, this was hard, really. I mean, I guess it was the longer. <laughs> it's it was one of the most long, like longest. Uh, um, I don't know deliberation that we had with judges, but uh, there should be some intrigue, and we will leave it for for the, for for later. Uh, at first, uh, I would like just to honor all of you. I'd like you to applaud to yourself. Uh, because, because you are already here, you, are, you were selected as top 10 teams uh, in <coughs> Ukraine uh, that proceeded to the next stage uh, of the Diamond Challenge, and this is great. And I, I, and I hope that uh, no matter how this event, this particular event ends up, uh, you will keep going, you will uh, keep working on yourself, on your self-development, uh, on dreaming and making your dreams come true. I hope that you will remember this day and will just uh, think uh, of, about the experience that you got, about the acquaintances that you got, uh, and uh, just the time that you had some fun. Five minutes of pitching, talking about your customer, I don't know, marketing strategy, financial planning, when you are 15 or 16 years old. I mean, it's something impressive because uh, coming back to my 15 or 16 uh, age, I would never even think about that. And I would be like, what? Financial plan? Really? Like, what do you want from me? But that's cool that you are doing that and that you, you tried yourself in this new role for you. So thank you so much for that. Uh, so I would like to handle uh, to each of you the certificate that you are in top 10 uh, uh, finalist teams in the Diamond Challenge 2020 within the business innovation track. I will ask uh, to come to me to take the certificate and we will need to take a group photo with all of you to remember this day and to remember you. So Dmitro uh, Steblina. Katrina Lushnya. Skoro matimesh kolekcije cijelo. Oleksandar Kondrijanu. Mihajlo Perekopski. Andriy Tycholoz. Nislav Trimbač. Uh, 
Олександр Коптєв. А, його нема. Олексій Хафізов. Олександр Сінгаївський. Андрій Ріга. Я перепрошую, якщо я неправильно, можливо, там про... Віталій Радкевич. Марія Калініченко. Василь Куєк. Анастасія Шумакович. Андрій Чемерисов. Всеволод Арчаков. Вікторія Конащук. Сергій Єрмаков. Ірина Гуцуляк. Марк Яровий. Нема Марка, так? Сергій Ят кожен має. Неллі Тарапата. Уляна Кричковська. Артем Пазич. Ай, Уляна. Ти, а що так? Проходь, будь ласка. А чий це мобільний грає? Проходь, будь ласка. Артем Пазич. Чудово. Володимир Буткевич. Стас Маркович. Так, можна і внизу теж свати. Олена Полянська. Уляночка, давай, проходь. Сюди, сюди. Ми всі будемо на груповому фото. Роман Скок. Когось забули? Ні? Максим, командуйте. Я не знаю, мне кажется, нужно сюда подвинуть ребят. Ну вот там не влезем. Ще раз акцент можна? Давайте Дай, мам. Все знаю. Давайте все вместе на 3-4. Дай, мам. Спасибо. Отлично.
только не, не все, типа, оттуда. The most important moment of the day. This is uh, the check for 20,000 grivnas that the team will get as the financial uh, award today for the winning the national stage of Diamond Challenge to 2020 uh, within business innovation track. Um, there is the name of the team that pitched their concept today. <laughs> I don't know. If you if you prefer, I can just uh, tell straight ahead who is that. Uh, no? Yeah. Or some intrigue? Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> okay. Uh, this team proposed a very interesting uh, solution to the customer problem. Uh, this team um, goes to the high school. Uh, <laughs> they are in the age range of like 13, 18 years old. <laughs> so um, this team worked hard on their concept. Um, they submitted cool uh, written concept. They submitted cool pitch deck. Um, this team um, for sure got the feedback from online judges. Uh, for sure read it like carefully and tried to, to make their concept better. Um, to add about this team. Yeah, this team uh, um, can be two people, three people, four people. <laughs> uh, this particular team um, will get the, uh, the prize, this check, and the chance to move further in the Diamond Challenge uh, and pitch their concept at the, uh, at the University of Delaware in April during the Diamond Challenge Summit, uh, which takes place uh, in April. It starts 16th of April, it ends up on the 18th of April. <laughs> okay. So, so the winner today is... Greder! <laughs> you have the chance to say oh all God. the gratitude <laughs> that you have, all your emotions, feelings, but just don't be too long, you know? Like you <laughs> <laughs> so this is crazy. I can't believe it. Uh, like like uh, the, some guys yesterday said, it doesn't seem like I'm happy, but I'm really <laughs> happy right now. <laughs> Ooh, you know, you know I, was, I was really worried before like the final announcement because... Um, I heard a lot of like information that going first is a bad idea and like you know that you'll probably lose and that psychology doesn't work out and it might have some sense. But guys, uh, I think that it's important to sometimes not to listen to other people and to keep on doing and really if, if some other people say that you shouldn't do it or that maybe you're not the best or something like that, continue doing it. Just, just continue doing it and I think mm, oftentimes I've, I've seen some research that t team that teams that are my, my, like my, my ooh <laughs> English is getting really difficult right now. Okay, I think it's time to pass my microphone. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> before the diamond challenge, uh, ten in, ten minutes before the diamond challenge, we were two kilometers away from this place uh, because. Um, uh, what did you forget? So I, I forgot my minor, minor release model, which is like the, like the legal document we have to sign. So yeah, we, we were traveling <laughs> around this area, just finding a place to print our minor model, but it's not important. We are really thankful for 
this opportunity. To I still can't believe it. This is so amazing. Oh my God. It's, I'm so glad to live in this country. I'm so glad. <laughs> I <have> <laughs> <laughs> And we are proud to have you among citizens of our country. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Diamond Challenge isn't available in every country, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just so thankful to everyone involved, to my team, to, 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 to the judges, to all of you people. Mom. Just, yeah, of course, my mother, thank you. <laughs> thanks a lot, thanks a lot. And also, so, as I told, before Diamond Challenge, we were quite sure that our pitch deck is really good. But after this challenge, we couldn't believe that we would win because these works were amazing. Well, like uh, number six, Natis, right? Yeah, N Natis, Natis. Yes, this team. I mean, and all, like almost every team was really good. Like we, we, all, we found like elements of like all, almost everyone's speech, and we thought, hey, hey, we need that. We need to add that. Yes, we and we definitely, uh, definitely steal it. <laughs> <laughs> no, not steal it. Incorporate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Good, good job. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, we, yeah, we would be happy if you stayed here like for the whole time, but you may take your seat. <laughs> so after this moment, I always see such sad faces. Like I'm, I'm glad that you are not uh, crying or whatever. That's cool. But uh, I mean. It's not the end of your life, right? Uh, you are so young, there are so many opportunities open for you, waiting for you. You just need to, uh, to start, do something, dream about something, and just don't be upset about today. Um, it's the competition. There should be one, uh, just one winner, and you should understand that. But uh, before we end up, we, uh, we end up our, our pitch event. Uh, I would like to say big thanks uh, to this amazing ladies that dedicated their time to be there, to be here and evaluate your concepts. Um, it was really hard to make the final decision who's going to be the winner. Uh, just agree on that, right? Yeah. <laughs> And I'd like to give uh, them the floor uh, to say a couple of things to you about their impressions uh, and some other words that they would like to tell you uh, from their point of view. And I hope that you will listen to them. So let's start with Yula. Shall I? Yeah. Uh, from here, like, sitting Come here. Come here, please. In English or Ukrainian, okay, how yeah, you yeah, prefer. Yeah. Um, shall I use this also? Yes. Like, okay. Um, so it's like uh, a great honor for me to be here for the second time. So thank you so much for the Diamond Challenge for uh, invitation. Uh, it's also a great honor to um, see and to be in your world at least for one day because your world is amazing. Um, you are all not only like young and so motivated to do things you like to do, but um, it feels the energy, this vibes here. I don't know, I admired, I was, I was sitting there and I was like observing each and one of you, admiring each and one of you, every one of you. And um, the only thing is that um, the thing you do is actually only steps and the whole life um, consists of all the steps. So I would like only to wish you to make every single step wisely and with this very energy and with this very vibes and passion that you have and never ever stop and never ever give up because you are here you can do it, and you can do better with every next step. So hope to see some of you next year, if I'll still be <laughs> here next year. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. And, uh, uh, and our traditional souvenir, just for you to remember this day from us and to, from you. all of our diamonds that we have. No, 
Олеся Залуська. Я буду українською. Дякую вам за всі ваші ідеї. Вони дуже дорослі, ці ідеї. І для мене це був величезний сюрприз, тому що, як правило, я суджу змагання стартапів, які ну, дорослих стартапів. І, чесно, я дуже шокована і рівнем вашим, і тим, тими, ті проблеми, які ви ставите як, як проблеми. Це перше повідомлення. Друге повідомлення – те, що ви дуже просунуті люди самі по собі, та, от наша українська молодь, і коли ви спілкуєтеся з потенційними інвесторами або з потенційними партнерами, перекладайте те, що ви говорите просунутою мовою, на простіші речі. Ну, це, це якраз суть того, що ви зробили якісь продукт, і вам його треба продати. І вам його треба продати простою мовою. Тому тут таке, це така порада на майбутнє. Перекладайте ваші просунуті речі, просунуті ідеї, продукти, і доносьте їх звичайною мовою, зрозумілою вашому потенційному партнеру, чи це людині, яка буде інвестувати в вас, чи яка вам буде допомагати. І це друге повідомлення. І Третє, реально вибір був дуже складним. І е, що я хочу вам знову ж таки побажати, е, виводьте на сцену всю команду, е, будьте щирими, е, не намагайтесь здаватись кращими, ніж ви є, ви і так круті. Е, чесно, якщо не маєте відповіді на запитання, не придумуйте, не дофантазовуйте на сцені, це видно, тому краще сказати, відповіді ще немає, ми її Доженемо і повернемося до вас, якби з цією дошлемо вам інформацію. Вишіть свій свій контакт. Це буде сприйматися краще, ніж коли дофантазовують і на ходу щось там намагаються придумати. Піджаки, кроватки, викинути там футболки, джинси це такий нормальний стартап ворлд. І е, коли, е, коли ви будете переглядати, я вас дуже закликаю, щоб зараз після цього, там, завтра, ви не розійшлися всі і, там, не знаю, е, якось там з думками, а зберіться і навпаки подумайте, е, так як хлопці згадали, що було в, там, в інших команд крутіше, або на що вони звернули увагу більше, або ви менше. Тобто зробіть цю роботу над собою е, відразу там, завтра. Сьогодні ще посвяткуйте, а, а завтра е, реально сядьте і зробіть це. Тому що це дуже важливо після кожного етапу, який ви проходите, робити е, роботу над, whatever це називати, помилками, роботу над собою. Тому що е, будь-який проект, він шейпиться довго, він там, пере, може перероблятися, змінювати свій свій там меседжбокс і вся решта. Тому я вам дуже дякую і е, бажаю вам шукати можливості. Їх в нашій країні дуже багато. І е, давайте е, пишатися самі собою, тим, що ми українці. І ми дуже сподіваємося, що хлопці, я не знаю, чи є у вас дівчата в команді, е, прекрасна відповідь, правильна, дуже гарно представлять Україну. Дякую. Дякую, Олексій. Щоб це нагадувало про нас і те, що ви були разом з нами. Дуже дякую вам. Марія. Спасибо. А я буду на русском. Да? У нас же міжнародна страна, інтернешнл. Ребят, хочу сказать, вы крутые, вы молодцы. Когда ты в жюри стартапов, то, конечно, планка всегда завышена. Вы круты, вы молодцы, но планка завышена. Поэтому у нас в жюри действительно нас не было очень долго. Мы спорили, не дрались. Нет, может, все-таки женщины. Но выбор был очень тяжелый. 
Я хочу вам сказать, вот в продолжение Олесиных типсов, да, на рекомендации. Первое, если вы знали, кто жюри, то, наверное, вы могли бы нас почитать. Но я не знаю, well, знаю. Анонсировали, анонсировали да? Конечно. То есть посмотреть на нас, понять, чем мы занимаемся, и, может быть, где-то подправить свои пичи. Олеся очень правильно сказала, что нужно говорить всегда простым языком, чтобы мы у вас купили ваше решение, ваш продукт. И это касается что на этой сцене, что в принципе и в жизни. По поводу выводить всю команду или нет, наверное, на таком мероприятии да, но если вы идете на уже такие более серьезные конкурсы стартапов, то честно нет. Один человек, потому что когда презентуют несколько, то внимание рассеивается. Тем более, что у вас тут пять минут, на конкурсах стартапов дают, как правило, три минуты. Три минуты. И сегодня ребята говорили, что пять минут — это мало. Да, вам нужно учиться и готовиться. Три минуты. Самое главное, чтобы зацепить инвесторов в жюри. Помните, что у инвесторов вообще нет времени. То есть ему нужно быстро понять, надо это ему или нет, вкладывать. И главное, какая ценность будет для него. Это вот моя вам рекомендация. А вы действительно крутые. Я тоже вот для меня был сюрприз, какие у вас идеи. То есть вы мыслите out of box, и это очень круто. И я очень настоятельно рекомендую, не останавливайтесь. Вы же знаете, что жизнь завтра суббота, завтра вы отдохнете. Да, в понедельник кто-то вернется в школы, но тем не менее вам действительно нужно, может быть, понять, а может быть, нас спросить, мы еще тут будем, а вот чего не хватило или наоборот, что было круто. А, то есть всегда берите обратную связь и работайте дальше. Я честно вам скажу, я открыта. То есть можете найти меня в Фейсбуке. Вот. И я очень верю в нашу талантливую молодежь, вообще в наших людей. Как говорят, у нас самый классный ресурс. Поэтому я готова где-то, может, помочь вам вырасти да, дальше, потому что у вас очень крутые решения. И спасибо Diamond Challenge за такую вообще возможность для ребят. Я очень надеюсь, что тех, кого мы сегодня выбрали, действительно хорошо представят Украину. У вас на самом деле это успех. Но честно вам скажу, наверное, это еще и тяжело, потому что вам теперь нужно так подготовиться, чтобы наше решение да, нас не подвести вот, и представить очень классную Украину. Всем спасибо, я действительно желаю вам удачи. Не расстраивайтесь, я понимаю, что сейчас это легко говорить, но был, вы видели, если бы было все просто, и если бы вы выступили не очень хорошо, то мы бы, наверное, за пять минут выбрали бы победителя. Это а было, так было, это да. Было это было очень сложно, действительно очень сложно. Мы спорили, обсуждали, взвешивали. Поэтому я хочу, чтобы вы друг другу поаплодировали. И себе тоже. <плодисменты> Удачи вам. И мы аплодируем вам, что вы а, были спасибо. с нами. Спасибо вам большое, Мэри. Галина. Я так хвилююся, ніби це я тут пічила і не отримала свою винагороду. Знаєте, я минулого року повернулася до України, до цього жила за кордоном, бачила в своєму житті дуже багато пічів, і зараз по тому, де я працюю, в акселераторі Sector X в Unit City, також бачу дуже багато пічей. І сьогодні я дуже вдячна Наталі, що мене запросили в суді, тому що, чесно кажучи, я коли поверталася, та, я, я поверталася, щоб всі свої знання тут в Україні застосувати і якось допомогти в розвитку України. І настільки помінялося за ті п'ять років, поки мене тут не було все, що сьогодні мене прям душа раділа. Я коли на вас всіх дивилася, я думаю, боже мій, це ж майбутнє України, от по-справжньому по майбутнє України. Кожен з вас, всі і кожен з вас окремо, ви доб'єтеся в цьому житті великих-великих висот. І кожну свою поразку ви не сприймаєте як поразку, тому що особливо в стартап-світі, 
У нас навіть в Юніт-Сіті ми вас, до речі, запрошуємо, хто ще не був, обов'язково прийдіть, подивіться. У нас періодично проводяться граблі-шоу. Це якраз коли стартапи розказують про свій невдалий експіріенс. І саме головне, вони розказують, що вони з цього винесли і як це їм допомогло в інших своїх продуктах потім злетіти. Дуже крута штука. Тому, повірте мені, в стартап-світі фейли – це взагалі невід'ємна частина вашого життя, в принципі. Тому звикайте, да? але ви всі молодці. Ще раз скажу, ми запрошуємо вас в Юніт-Сіті, приходьте на екскурсію. Ребята, які їдуть пічити в Америку, ми тут поговорили з Марією, ми разом в Юніт-Сіті, в різних акселераторах, але там. Ви можете там прийти, ми вам допоможемо підготуватись до Америки. От. Ну і, власне, великий вам реально уклін всім, тому що ви всі дуже молодці. Дякую. Сувенір. Дуже дякую. Наш захід завершений, однак життя не завершене. І життя після Diamond Challenge є. І я впевнена в тому, що ви досягнете успіху. Я просто хочу вам побажати, щоб ви знайшли дійсно ту справу, якою ви будете горіти, до якої у вас буде пристрасть. І якщо ви знайдете те, чим ви хочете займатися, і ви будете розвиватись в цьому напрямку, і будете робити все для того, щоб стати кращими, я впевнена, що ви будете щасливими. Дуже дякую вам за цей сезон, дуже дякую за те, що ви є такими, якими ви є. І сподіваюся, я навіть не сподіваюся, я впевнена, що ми почуємо дуже багато success stories, саме ваших, і ми будемо тільки дуже раді. Дуже вам дякую за сьогодні і до зустрічі!